on the life of Thomas Paine. Who? Thomas Paine. He was an American founder of he was the, the he, was a, he was a one of the one of the founders of the American Revolution. Really? Yeah, he's the one You're gonna the, you're gonna bet you're gonna bet this on the life of a man who's already dead? Hey he's the one that said give me liberty or give me death. So for me it's give me the stream or actually never mind, I don't wanna be that drastic. Uh <laughs> But it's working Twitch. Everything seems to be working. Gosh, my voice is so high pitched and squawky. I could practically be thin to floss. What's up? Thin. From a. No, I'm from aware. I've seen the movies. <laughs> you didn't watch the movies? I have seen. I've seen all of them. I know. I'm kidding. Mm -hmm. Very sad when they got bought out by Disney. I think. Of course it was Disney. No, they're still DreamWorks. That wasn't DreamWorks. That was Fox. Oh, no. It was, uh, wasn't it? Weren't they Illumination? No. 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 They weren't Illumination. No. What was Ice Age Fox? Ice Age was. Was it? It was, yeah. I don't, that doesn't sound right. Ice Age, you're, the film you're series. You're confusing, Not... you're confusing oh, Ice Age it, with High Trainer it, Dragon. No, 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 no. It was 20th Century. 20th Century Fox, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Blue Sky. Yep. Blue Sky, that's what it was. Blue yep. Sky. Yep, Who Blue bought Sky. out Blue Sky? Disney. Who bought out Blue Sky? Did they? I think so. Da, I think da, it's... Da, 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 most successful franchises. Da, 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 da. Oh, they made Tron. Gets a shout out from they, Hamilton they as well. Too. Yes. Yes. I'll, <laughs> I'll bet the stream success on the lives of Thomas Paine and Hamilton. That, that sounds good. Hey, we know hmm. Hamilton can drop a good beat. Um. Oh yeah, they think about it by Disney. Yeah. Huh. You know, actually, before they all got fired, essentially, when Disney was like, "All right, we're putting our boys in here now," they um finished the Ice Age series by giving Scrap his happy ending. Finally, they did. They did. That was sad. But they gave sweet. him the nut. I'm so glad they finally gave. Him. I'm like, you know, that's the amount of things I grew up with, where they're like, "All right, and we're gone now," and I'm like, uh, "You're just gonna leave me on a cliffhanger now." Like, yep. what happened to this character? What happened to these characters? What happened here? You're just going to be like, nope, yep, we're done. Bye. And they didn't. They took the time. It's like it's like Steve from Blue's Clues coming back and giving us a farewell message. It's like, thank you guys for actually caring. Well, they they were just doing a, uh, like, a anniversary thing, and then he's like, no, wait, I got this. Yeah. <laughs> They wanted just to have like all the Steves together, and they were like gonna like do like a party thing. And he's like, "No, no way! <laughs> I got this. I got this. Don't even worry, your precious little gay heads, because we all know you're gay now. <laughs> do that for us, right? Speaking of the gays, Happy Pride. Yes, it is. First happy day of Pride. Pride. Oh my gosh, it is. It's the first day of Pride. We missed the celebration though. We have a we have a massive celebration at the beach, ten minutes from where we live. About two hundred thousand people show up for it every year. Damn. Yeah, one of the I biggest ones. That many country. people where you live. Yeah, they're they're well. They don't just come. They're from all over the country. Ah. Yeah. It is it is the Pride Festival, and they come we have, for the beaches. We have a quarter of a million. They come for the beaches. For it. They yep. just happen to be there. Freaks the Baptists <laughs> out. Hell yeah. <laughs> But more keep moving and staying, so... Hey. Please stop coming to Florida. <laughs> you don't... You, you don't want it here. I mean... You nobody likes... in Florida? The what? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, it's like... Please, please stop coming to Florida. Please stop coming to Florida. <laughs> please stop. All we need to do is get certain people to leave and we're good to go. <laughs> 
Do I have? Oh, do I have my HP yeah, up where it should be? Because they're coming okay, to so. and then they're coming in Florida. <laughs> do I have? Huh? Is my is my <laughs> HP where it's supposed to be? Brain is short circuiting here. All right. Um. So everyone who's joining Ian's on us, another level. Yes. Thank you for joining us, everyone who is here. Um. Tonight, patience, friends. The, the title is a little bit scrambled. Uh, we are on episode 16, so the title of this one is uh, Checkpoints and Balances, because I thought that was punny. Checkpoints oh. and Balances. You're clever. I'm proud of you. Thank you. I, I have dad joke humor sometimes, most of the time. And it's, it's great, and sometimes it makes me want to cry. Thank you. I Only appreciate sometimes. that. <laughs> Only sometimes. I appreciate that. Um... We will, you know what? Let's start with everyone. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's I am do dyslexic. Sir Wellington. Hi. How's it going? I'm Ian. I play Sir yeah, Wellington. He is. Um, we're gonna we're gonna do some stuff today, and we're gonna see what happens. And I'm going to I'm gonna I'm gonna stuff things where they shouldn't be stuffed. Oh. Mm. That's mm. concerning. Snickers goes into the bag of holding. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, no! Snickers, no! Hold your breath, buddy! All right. Uh, Kelly. Hi. It's me. It's Selkie to the internet, but Kelly for the Lost Continent. I'm back. I've missed a few things. All I know is I am a candle. Yes, you are a candle. <laughs> That's all I know. You are not a fish, and you are a candle. We're not a fish. We are a candle, and uh, because we have a we have a uh, Cali in the jar, back off Reddit. Mm -hmm. And lastly, <laughs> short and sweet as usual. I'm Ian guessing. knows what's up. Nobody else does. Yeah. Ian knows what's up. <laughs> a lot of people know what's up or think they do. It scares me. Back off Reddit. Okay. Yeah. We've, we've talked about your jar problem, Markham. Oh. Oh gosh. Why? No, no. <laughs> Don't bring that up again. Is, is, this, is, this a, is this a moment of self discovery like the microphone incident? No! See, Mark, Markham just has a problem putting things in jars and then getting things hard. Yeah, it's, it's a problem for us all. <laughs> jars and petrification. Jars and petrification. They are solid ways to contain prisoners without killing anyone. <laughs> That's my, why is everyone getting... Oh my gosh. This is strictly an inside joke. And we're not going to explain it. Nope. Nope. <laughs> it was really funny. Or headset mic. You know what? It's hilarious. <laughs> I'm going to be a chaotic nut tomorrow. How about... No, that wouldn't fit his character. Darn it. Go on. Go on. Try to compete with Vagra. I'm going to bring in Ellen's twin brother, Bellen. And Bella mm -hmm. is chaotic evil. How about that? Mm. Oh no. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I am kidding. Um, Abigail or Naz. Naz. You did not introduce Naz. yourself. I play Abigail. Hell yeah. They Save do. us from Ian's humor. <laughs> what? Hell yeah, they do. I, never mind. I'm so, I'm so, I love Naz so much. Oh, yeah. I want the world to know on this first day of Pride that I love Naz so much. <laughs> <laughs> I will never forget the first time I introduced Naz to Strahd. And Naz goes, yeah, I just don't see it. <laughs> Smash. <laughs> He's a guy. What's to like? <laughs> okay. <laughs> well... Listen. Mash. I said to each their own. I respect <laughs> it. He's a vampire I dude. I get it. it. I would get it. Vampire dudes are cool. Uh huh. So what you're saying is Irene, though. I don't know who is Irene. Okay, fair. Markham, you did not do your due diligence then in that situation. <sighs> you know... I will school Naz on the finer things in life later. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> there is time. There is time. 
There better be, because I haven't even ran through a straw thing yet. And I have I no have... straw. No, I haven't either. I've, I've gotten through the prequel of a straw, and then... Here we go. And then one of the players' characters died, and the other two characters' players died. There's Irina weird. for you. So... <laughs> Are we about to be really gay? Smash! <laughs> Smash! Smash! <laughs> Smash! <laughs> Smash! <laughs> Irene. God, there's just there's just something about a woman in armor that just healed armor too. That's impressive. Mm. Good shit. All right. That's also from Curse of Strahd. Uh, I really need Smash. to play that. I really need to play that. I I have a plan to play a kind of backwoodsy himbo bard who is looking for Daddy Strahd mm -hmm. because Strahd <laughs> is his pa. <laughs> Strahd's pa? Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, you know, he's, he plays like a banjo and he's like, you know, because it's the bard who's looking for Strahd because Strahd is daddy, but in a very different way. He was. <laughs> it was his mom had a one night stand with Strahd and then raised him somewhere else. And he grew up hearing about his wonderful father, who's off busy saving people's lives. So he grows up, uh -huh. and he's like, you know what? I gotta meet this awesome fellow. Of course, his mom's lying through his teeth. He doesn't know that. So well, I thought that would be his hilarious. mom's not lying. Okay, you 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 gotta go with the a aspect of something happened. Teleportation. She cannot get back to him because she's a thrall. Oh, okay. And so, and I'm, therefore, a, a, anything she's saying good about him, she fully believes because she uh, is in love with him. You know what? We're I just like making your backstory. Yeah, he would be a dampier. He would be a dampier. So a dampier bard, who's just kind of a country bumpkin. Oh, oh, thank you. Kayla makes veggie wraps that are delicious. Spring rolls. Spring rolls. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, get it right, Marco. Yeah. Yes, you be half on it. Yes, finer things in life, ish. <laughs> All right, so uh, where we left off, um, to I was a, a quick kid. summary. Yes, uh, Callie got kidnapped by Abigail. Um, Callie was shrunk down and put into a jar that was enchanted to kind of keep whatever spell was on her, kind of lasting until she's taken back out of the jar, um, because quite frankly the. Alchemist doesn't have room for like a whole full prison, so her test subjects she keeps in these little jars and then <laughs> pops them out and they go back to full size. And then she's like, "All right, let's test my potions. Let's see if this heals you or turns you into a bat. We'll find out." <laughs> um, That's very bad. Science, <laughs> right? Science. Uh, think, think, scientist in a world where there is no law, so anything goes. That's hey, the only right. difference between fucking around and science is just writing things down. So, like... Right, yeah. So, basically, Jurassic Park is what we're dealing with. I'm kidding. Science. More or less. Um, <laughs> Abigail uh, is currently being a nutty little... Mm -hmm. I, I'll come up with a good insult for you. Homewrecker, I don't know. Um, What's up? Uh... I did nothing. Something. I I'm know. being I'm being mildly nice, and you're accusing me. Mildly um, nice is scary when it's Abigail. Uh, I didn't do anything. Yeah, that's what worries me. Is you're being what would, nice. What would be scary for Sir Wellington out of curiosity? Yes, yes, it's not a horror. Film. Um, what? Now, now I'm Boston curious. It would be scary for Sir Wellington. I don't think anything. Yeah. Would be scary Absolute for Sir stillness. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> if Sir Wellington is just like, if Sir Wellington if... was that was that version of Spider Man in the comics where he had a sore throat so he couldn't talk to anybody and everyone was terrified, that yep, yeah, <laughs> it's true. Also, turn into also, Spider Wellington. Our wonderful Spider Wellington. DM dad says that dad. Jurassic Park is apparently not a horror film. Not a horror film. Agree to disagree. No, I'm kidding. Jurassic Park is not a horror film. <laughs> I'm kidding. I know it's not a horror you film. You saw one man get ripped in half and there was no gore. There was like a spine vertebra that I... flew off. If you looked closely, like between frames. That, that could be his shoe. That could be a button. That could be his belt. <laughs> it could be anything. 
Fair enough. Uh, oh, yeah, and Sir Wellington, along with the rest of the party, <clears throat> has uh, encountered a group of very apparently attractive centaurs who have given them a ride to the border of Sanctuary, where Callie is supposedly... Supposed to be. <laughs> yeah, supposed to be. Um, yeah. In three weeks. Yeah, yeah in three yeah. weeks. Great. Oops. Well, allegedly, Callie's already there because she had a head start. But not a three not week head two start. Weeks, yeah. It was like it was like a two day head start. Right, right. So we'll see Callie in three weeks. Well, Callie <laughs> should yeah. have been there two days before you is my point. Okay, but we still had three weeks left in our journey is what I'm saying. Oh, yes, yes. And so the Callie would have been sent the exact same way we were going. Yes. Is what I'm saying. So yes. we'll see Callie in three weeks. Minus two days. Yeah, something yes. like that. Yes. Minus. Yes. <laughs> I heard minus titties, Miss, and I'm Mr. like, she Math. had no titties. Mr. She Math. was 14. Yes. <laughs> what? Three weeks minus titties. <laughs> That's why I was really confused. I was like, why are we talking about Callie's titties? She's 14. No, I'm not talking about no 14 year old's titties. Don't worry. <laughs> Nerd dad started it. Guys, Nerd dad heard it too. <laughs> Two first. days. Two days. I did not say titties. <laughs> <Minus two. laughs> Kelly's gone. Chest issue. It's okay. Oh, it's okay. It's those those training bras you just wore too long. <laughs> what? Kelly just wore you the training him. bras too long. <laughs> I don't know uh, either. I don't know Curse either. Of monk life. This is this is what happens with this crew. They get very chaotic very quickly. Um, uh, I resent that. Fair enough. It's true. So we will pick up uh, at the end of your journey now. So for the last few weeks, uh, you guys have been traveling with the centaurs, and Abigail has been extra nice to everyone. That's what scares me. <laughs> what? I'm not there. Yeah. No, no, no. We're doing the whole picture. Oh, okay. Yeah. Abigail's been extra nice to everyone back at her castle. Except Callie. Oh, Callie's in, in, that, in that place. Okay. I'm like, what? Yeah. I was like, <laughs> why are no, no, we no. there? Abigail's no, being no. nice to Histon. She's actually studying like she's supposed to be and learning new spells and helping Micah study and learn spells. Uh, and then... Of course, she always gets along well with Coraline. That's no different. No difference. Um, Callie is potentially not getting along with Coraline, but she's just a candle right now. She's in a little jar. Um, Abigail was very nice. I was thinking, perfect, she's in a glass jar. She can eat her way out. No, Abigail casts Hold Person and then shrinks her down and puts her in the jar, which means until she's full out of the jar, Hold Person and... Uh, shrink thing are going to be oh. lasting so that was just an absolute dick move um, I didn't oh. know that that was gonna happen but I mean <laughs> so works out. so Callie it, is very much just a candle right now like very I'm much a candle. just like look at <laughs> like, okay. just cast Petrificus Totalis and then sorry yeah. I've been sending them nothing but this. the gifts of Tinkerbell and the Lantern you have been. Yeah, except you haven't been able that. to actually pound because you're just standing there now. And uh, Abigail yeah. was not even pretending to be nice at that point. <laughs> That's true. Abigail was still Abigail at that point. Right. So we will pick up with, uh, let's start with Sir Wellington as you guys arrive at the border. This whole time he's been just talking the ear off of one of the centaurs with the with uh Harrison his, and his name in and, here and Kaylee behind me um and just annoying the absolute shit out of this guy and like every about 30 minutes or so we'll be like we'll be like so how much further is it are we doing yet <laughs> are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? No, he's not. Are are he's not arguably there yet? He's just how much further? About every thirty to forty minutes or so is when like that would pop up. All right, let me see here. He knows they're, they're about a day away, so he's just like, ah. Uh -huh. 
Okay, I thought I shared with you. Oh, am I am I on that guy's back? Sebastian. Am well, Sebastian was the leader. Okay, that is cool. the one I that my I don't want to be on Marcus Sebastian's is back. On. What? I don't want to be on Sebastian's you're back. You're not. You're not. I have a thing on. Where is it? I have it written down. Just can't remember what tab it's under. Nope, not you. Stop arguing with me, computer. Oh, there we go. You are riding on... Huh. Uh, apparently the so back How's it going, huh? Thorvaldsen, Reg... Thorvaldsen Reginald Vorusen the 15th. Alright, we're just gonna call what him happens? Thor... Cause, Thor. Cause, cause Thor is easier to remember, so you are now Thor to us. And I know that Harrison and Kaylee are going to agree that Thor is easier to remember, so yeah, we're going to call him Thor the entire time. Yeah, that works. Thor is... You know what, I'm going to roll Constitution... Saving throw essentially to see how fed up he is versus how like yeah I have a kid like this normally or something like this. This is my actual child. So with the two, he's borderline in tears. Um, <laughs> uh, no. Two plus two, two plus four, six. Go. Saving throw on that. Um, he's he's like mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like, he doesn't want to hear anyone speak again for the next month once he gets home. He wants to Hell go yeah. home. He wants to shut everyone else out. And he doesn't want to see or hear anything. Make a grown man cry. You did. Yeah. yeah. Sir Wellington hands out Hell just yeah. made a grown man cry. And this is like a guy so who's a warrior him. by trade. He goes out, he so, hunts demons. And so like, you have driven wait, wait. him to the brink. So, like... I mean, I know we're, we're getting closer and all that, but, like, how often do you guys go out and, like, hunt hunt stuff as well? Because, you know, I was thinking, I, I need to get better at stuff, so maybe I can join you next time. No, oh, um, you don't need to do that. I think it would be quite wonderful if you just stayed and, and relaxed in, um, in but, sanctuary. But, I mean, everyone's fighting, and don't you think it's good for everyone to fight? And so shouldn't I join the fight? No, no, you should, you should definitely stay in sanctuary where it's safe. If they even let you in, you little rat bastard. But I mean, you know, you you really oh. would enjoy the the beaches. Yes, you should go visit the beaches on the coast. On the coast, hours away, hours away. A few days, actually, if you want to go to the southern ones. Oh, do you want to show me where that is? Oh, I would love to, but I'm very busy. Oh, I'll tell, busy. I will. I'll, I'll, I'll tell. I'll tell Karen. And Marcus, that you'll show us where it is. Oh, and, no need, no and, need. And, and we will, and we can talk to Sebastian and make sure you get leave of absence. You, it will be good. It you know, will be you fun. know what? You know what? Cecilia is a way better guide than I am. She can show you all of it. Yes, 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 Cecilia. Ask I, I'm, Cecilia. I, I'm, guess, I'm guessing it will be good for two people to come anyways, because Karen and Marcus are big people, so that I can just hang out with you then. <laughs> <laughs> um, you, you guys <laughs> arrive at what appears this is this narrow canyon between steep cliffs in the, this this huge mountain range. Um, the the scorch marks go up the mountains, but they seem to stop about halfway, and you can see snow-tipped mountain peaks. You can see. Wow, I haven't grass seen snow in a long time. And it looks like the the peaks of these mountains, with the the trees and and the snow and everything up there, are untainted um, by the blight that's affected the entire continent or the rest of the continent. And as you guys enter this narrow canyon, you hear the way is shut, the dead keep it. And, no, it's kidding. We're not doing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh. kidding. We're not doing the. Uh, wow. The um, I just could not oh. resist the reference. Uh, 
we're running out of good TV shows, so what we've decided to do, Kate and my wife and I, are going to watch The Hobbit and the Lord of the Rings extended editions, like, uh, we normally watch, like, shows like animes or something, we like just 20 did, episodes, we just... so we watch an episode or two a day, so if we do, like, 20 to 40 minute clips of these movies, it could, it'll work like a, a season-long TV show, essentially. You need to watch Oshinoko before you get spoiled. Anime. Trust okay, me, watch the first episode. I watched it two days ago, and oh my god, I was like, I could not, like, I wouldn't, I I did not expect the things that happened that happened, and I, I legitimately was like, oh my god. Alright, I'll have to check that out. We we have, we just finished first the first season first, of Spy Family. Okay, first episode is 100, like, 100, yeah, uh, sorry, 80 minutes. Hour 20. Wow, alright. I will have to after that, that, each episode's twenty minutes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So long first episode, short ones after that. Nice, nice. Yeah, we just finished Spy Family, so we could use another one. Um, okay. Yes. Yeah, so as you guys enter, what does happen is um, you see slowly the corrupted, blighted, the 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 ash and charred decay that has covered the entire continent thus far kind of like reaches out almost like like fingers or, or tendrils reaching and failing to grasp what it's after as you can see just streaks of pure stone walls that are, that are now stretching in front of you there's moss growing on them there are little plants peeking out from the rocks there's there's small trees growing there's there's life there's life you haven't seen life since you set foot here Unless it was like some weird mutated demon life, but you have not seen plant life at all mm -hmm. until this moment. And as you continue down this path, the the air stops smelling of, of decay and charred something burnt something burnt. Oh, that's all you know. Like when you go to a barbecue and it's a rookie cook. <laughs> Uh -huh. Who has just seared the burgers? It's just that smell has kind of been in your nose for the last few months, and now all of a sudden you smell fresh flowers and this kind of moisture, kind of you know that mossy scent when you're in like this old house, kind of that smell. Mm. Um, that mildewy that kind of, smell. Yeah, it's almost a mildewy smell. Yeah, mildewy it's not smell. technically a good thing, but you know, compared to like burnt flesh, it smells good. You know? Um, comparison thing. It's a dank, dank cavern here. What a dank, uh, what did I call this earlier? Place between cliffs, whatever it is. Um, valley? Or canyon? Canyon, thank you. Thank you, Naz. Canyon, yes. It's a dank canyon. I mean, it can only get so good. Um, and as you reach... Like these dank memes. <laughs> <laughs> dank memes. As you get further in, can I get a perception check from you? Sure. First roll of the night. Hey yo. Good All vibes. Right. Let's let's make it a good one. Come on, come on. Bring on the good vibes. Uh, good Fifteen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My passive is sixteen. <laughs> I don't. Know. You may use your passive if you if you so wish. I mean, I I am not. I don't feel like he's actively like looking around because he's been like too engaged talking. So like it would, in my mind, it probably would be more passive. Your voice is echoing <laughs> off the canyon walls. Yeah, he notices this and goes, "Ooh." <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and he just he, he gets a, as low as he can he goes I am coming for you I am, I am coming for you he wants to try to be as intimidating as he can in like what he says hmm. okay are you trying to roll an intimidation like, I, I would, I would love to. He want, he's kind of doing it to see if he can like freak out anyone else. Okay. Yeah, you can roll an intimidation check. 
curious. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Did you not 20? I got an 18, so I got a Oh shit. Two. So 20, oh, there you go! 30, 30, 30, 20! 20. <laughs> it's a damp 20. It's not a wet 20, it's a damp 20. <laughs> oh. Extra moist. Extra moist. Um. Mm. You feel like you're very intimidating. Truly, to those who, who can see you, it's just adorable. But to anyone who can't see you, they just hear this, this voice echoing. It's pretty scary. How many people in front of me did I freak out? In front of you? I, feel I like mean, people... I would. I don't feel like we would, like, the little ones would be in the very front, so. No. I feel like, though, the centaurs up front would just turn around and look, and as soon as they see you, they're like, aw. <laughs> aw. However. Mm. He pouts a little bit afterwards. However, all of a sudden, the, the stone wall rolls away, so... The canyon walls, all of a sudden, these, like, hidden doors, like, slide to the sides. And this, this, basically, army of heavily armed pikemen <laughs> come rushing out <laughs> and surround the party. <laughs> Good uh, start. Well. <laughs> you walked into the TSA and said, I have guns! <laughs> 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 He's just, look, he's just looking around like <laughs> He told me to do it. He told me to. I, I, I point I point at Thor. I'm like, he wow. told me to do it. He's just shaking his head suddenly like did not. You can roll persuasion at disadvantage. Okay. <laughs> Cause who are they gonna listen to? One of their own or this random cut kid? <laughs> so let's Uh, persuasion is opposed to, uh, nine. Hmm. Wild Lich soldiers, upon seeing the centaurs, looks at you, he kind of raises an eyebrow, and then walks up and goes, Thor, how could you do such a thing? You talked him into yelling, knowing it would scare us. We should have you court-martialed. What do you say to that, child? We'll court-martial your friend for what he did. Who's Marshall? Yeah. Okay. Uh, can I have a cart marshmallow as well? <laughs> uh, I, want, I, want, I want a cart marshmallow. I want you best get this one inside before he drives you insane. Oh, trust me, <laughs> it's already happened. I'm I'm going to need an extended leave of absence after this experience. Oh well, you want to talk to the chief inside? I think he can set you up. Oh, thank you very much. I, but but, but <laughs> what about what trauma. about what, a, what about this court marshmallow? We can, we can get you court marshmallows or whatever the the hell are the marshmallows you want once you are inside. Don't worry. Yeah, but you said court marshmallow. What's a court marshmallow? It sounds really good. It is a I marshmallow only, I... that you eat exclusively in a courtyard. It's not so much. Oh. Um, I, 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 I need I need to try a cart marshmallow because that sounds really good. Morris. It's it you you take it and uh you know what? Oh fuck it. Uh you you slather oh I don't know, chocolate on it and you put it between oh. the kibble pieces of bread and you only eat it in courtyards, you don't eat it indoors. That's it's more about where you eat it than what it is, you know. Thor, you gotta show me how to do this. I I think I could probably um, find someone who could who could have you with this, yes? They, they said they're gonna get you court marshmallow, so it sounds like you know what to do. So you gotta you gotta show me the court marshmallow, dude. Wouldn't you rather they show you the court marshmallow since they're the ones giving them out? The guy looks at his friend, and the guy's like, uh -huh, "Pass on the child." Uh -huh. <laughs> Pass it on. I'm, I don't want I, it. I, I, I should I mention mean, his friend is actually a dwarf. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm happy to see how they do it as well. But I mean, it sounds like you know what you're talking about, man. It, like, yeah, 
Sir so Wellington is best. is well aware uh, at what he's doing at this point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sir Wellington's smart. Um, <laughs> oh gosh. Um, and honestly, Thor's friend is is aware of what's going on too, and he's just kind of like. It's also no, just amazing to me, me that me. Thor's nickname has transferred. <laughs> I mean, who's to say his friends didn't already call him Thor? <laughs> <laughs> when you get a complicated name, right? As someone with a complicated name, I understand. <laughs> the Cell Key. I mean, yeah, not many people are named Thor Thorvaldson, Reginald Vorosen the Fifteenth. It's kind of a mouthful. yeah, especially. The Especially in completion. Mm -hmm. I mean, well, besides Thorvaldsen, Reginald Vorosen the Fourteenth, Thorvaldsen Vorosen, uh, Reginald Vorosen the Thirteenth. Don't hurt yourself now. Reginald Vorosen the Twelfth, Thorvaldsen, Reginald Vorosen the Eleventh, Thorvaldsen, Reginald Vorosen the Tenth, Thorvaldsen. Okay, never mind. You can do it. I'm gonna say (laughs) there were fourteen before who had this name. Unfortunately for them. Uh, So besides them, so basically, what you're saying. But what you're saying is they felt traumatized, so they need to traumatize their children. Pass along the trauma. Yes, the cycle of abuse. <laughs> Wait, did your parents Double actually name you after a water horse? Or do we choose that name? I yes, am not named that. after a water horse. Quite the opposite, actually. <laughs> My government name means fire wheel, and I chose for, I chose water horse. That's epic. Or or the um that you're thinking uh I see stars. You're thinking of a kelpie. Hmm. Which is similar. A lot more deadly. Selkie is the seal people. We are seals. Apparently a selkie is also a Scottish hen, I guess. Apparently it is also a chicken. But those are silkies. Silky, yeah. Slightly different. We have silkies, which are chickens. Selkies, which are seals. And Kelpies that are horses. Yep. And everybody on the same page. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Alright, so, as you guys proceed forward, um, well, okay, so so the, the dwarf is like, alright, well, don't worry, once you get inside, Thor's the best at, at making... Uh, court marshmallows, isn't that right? Thor? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Oh, yeah, I, 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 you absolutely I feel, are. I feel, you are the I best like, at making uh, court yeah, marshmallows. I, I totally believe him because he, he's the one who said about the court marshmallows, and then he's saying that you're the best at them, so you must be the best at them, Thor. If I don't make the rules. <laughs> Thor just glares, so he's like, You owe me for this. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure I do. Um, but right now, you got your little powder feed court marshmallows, eh? All right, so you guys head on down, and uh, child, don't yell like that again. You you're lucky this this wasn't where the uh, the archers are. They might just shot without. It's... I just look at him and in dwarvish go, "Okay, have a nice day." <laughs> and he's just like silly, he's like the. Fuck do you just say to me? <laughs> yeah. Small child speaks multiple languages. Yes. He replies, in kind, and a wonderful day to you as well, bilingual one. <laughs> Thank you. Makes him quite yeah. a mess. He's all well, right. <clears throat> so yeah. as you guys proceed deeper, um, to I point my finger. I point my finger out for it. I'm like, onward, Thor. <laughs> <laughs> Sebastian, <laughs> husband. <clears throat> now I gotta do the Sebastian voice. I love the Sebastian voice. As you guys proceed forward a ways, Sebastian finally stops his conversation with <clears throat> Marcus, humble said Milo, to address the rest of the party. And he goes, Not here. Right. And he kind of like pivots and goes, All right, everyone. Up ahead, we have our first checkpoint. I'm going to need everyone to cooperate. It will be a bit invasive. We simply want to make sure none of you are harboring any type of demons or. Other such. The third of their invasive, invasive uh, right. thing is it. It means we will be looking through your possessions. Uh, oh. We will. Uh, the oh. first checkpoint, we will go through your possessions. Make sure you do not have contraband. The uh. second checkpoint, we will be um, going through your 
Well, essentially, you're going to be uh, checked out by our clerics, making sure you are not bringing in any type of curses. Um, and at the third checkpoint, I mean, uh, we will be putting to you in the zone people, of truth to find out what exactly your purpose is. Some people have told me that I am a curse to the people I'm around. So am I? does that mean that I'm not allowed in? Because... Uh, some people just say that being with me is a curse. Despite the impression Thorvaldsen seems to be having of you, I do not think you are a curse just because you are annoying. There is a distinct difference there. Oh, I didn't realize Thor was also saying this. You little bitch. What? No. Yeah. No, Thor did not... You know what, Thor, you can... Thor, Thorvaldsen, you can handle this one. No, please, I really would rather not. Trust me. I have more important things to tend to. No, Captain <laughs> Sebastian, go. All right. Um, <laughs> you guys proceed and forward. Here, and here, I thought we were gonna have a good time having court marshmallows. I can, <laughs> I can still make the court marshmallows. I never say anything about you being cursed. I said you are very chatty. There's a very big difference. Hmm. So um, do you have to go to the Zone of Truth as well? Yes, yes, we all do. That that ensures that none of us have been replaced. There are demons that absorb we'll, your... We'll, we'll, we will see what you have to say about curses. All right, that will be a very fascinating experience. Um... I actually said that in the wrong order. The Zone of Truth is the first one because if you are a demon, they want to weed that out first. <laughs> um, and then we go through the, the healers and lastly is the, the searching your physical possessions. Um, that was my mistake. Uh, They're going to do a pat-down search of a child. I don't think that's very kosher. <laughs> I have no idea what kosher is, but I, I'm sure it's just fine. You did... Alert the the emergency militia there. No one has done that in quite some time. So, you know. How well? When was the last time you had a five year old that came through here? Um, quite some time actually. Uh, yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, let's go. All right. As you guys proceed, first, uh, you got first up. You guys have the. Zone of Truth. Everyone yeah. goes through individually. Uh, next session, we'll probably have a flashback for Kieran and Marcus. Um, either way, with them, they definitely pass with flying colors. They have no ulterior motives. Um, they are asked their story uh, about what happened with the ship, etc. Um, and kind of goes down the line of all the other survivors, everyone giving the same story, save for those who were washed up elsewhere and met up with you guys later. They have slightly different stories, but they're generally the same The same concept. Um, yep. So you guys and then the eight other survivors who are with you. Nine if you count Callie's brother. He did survive, by the way. He wasn't eaten by the were-devils. <laughs> oh, yeah! And that man's gonna live forever. <laughs> Don't jinx it. Um, <laughs> and... Uh, Finally, they get to Sir Wellington. Yes. Yes. So, you and Thor ride into the Zone of Truth. The... Okay, now what did you say? Did you say I was a curse? As we get in there. As we get into the Zone of Truth. As soon as you're in the Zone of Truth. <laughs> I did not say... Uh, oh, wait. I'm sorry. I did not say that you were a curse. Okay. So you're you're gonna ha you're gonna do court marshmallows with me, yeah? <laughs> Don't truth, you cannot lie. You, 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 your, you silence lie. You can, you can... <laughs> your silence is speaking volumes. Your silence speaks volumes. I will. Fine. You can't willingly lie. <laughs> right. Fine. I hear I what you're saying. Do I hear the marshmallows what you are under duress. I, <laughs> yeah, I hear what you're saying. Okay, and I thought I you don't were actually my know what they were. Under duress, marshmallows. 
<laughs> okay. I, I he looks now at the people who are like probably like like what, what the, the hell heck? is going yeah, on? Basically. And like, yeah. Okay, what did you what did you want to ask? Um I was going to ask, um, how did you come to be on this continent? Oh, I, I was on a boat and then a uh, croctopussy attacked us and we, I'm sorry, a what? Uh, a croctopussy. And what is that? It's a giant alligator uh, <laughs> thing, uh, octopus thing, died. and it it attacked our boat and I was told it's a croctopussy. And mm -hmm. then uh, we, we ended up on the shore and yeah, that's how I got here. If you're one, or if you're wondering about how I got on the boat, though, that that's a longer story. Oh, the Grotta. You mean? Oh, you mean the insert really cool name here that I originally had designed for the Croctopussy, but forgot because you've been calling it the Croctopussy. This is <laughs> <laughs> I am... <laughs> it is the Croctopussy! I've never, it... I never heard it called a Croctopussy before. Uh, what, I'm currently what, what, scrolling what? back through my notes desperately Aggressively scrolling. the actual title. Hey, you, you can call it a Croctopussy now because it works out uh, really well. And it's a it's a fairly it's a fairly uh, good Wait, name. Wait, wasn't it Sharktopussy? No, there was never a sh there. There is a shark to pussy there. Yes, there is a shark out there. <laughs> Abigail had a uh, had an experience seeing Piston's past using one of those time travel orb. Well, not time travel, but the the visions of the past orbs where where she got to see the she other shark to creatures. Yeah, shark to pussy and the other creatures similar to it that uh, exist in got it. the waters around the continent, which is why no one's ever survived. Um, yeah, Octopussy, there was, yeah, basically a Kraken out there, there were, there was a Leviathan type thing, there were some terrifying creatures out there. It was a I'm crocodile sorry. with a bunch of Leviathan tentacles, I, therefore I just the Croctopussy. When, when I looked over and Wait, just saw Wait, Octopussy is a double seven, how did I not know that? It is, I knew that. I knew that, I should have known, no, I didn't know that. Hmm? Goldfinger is the one that comes to mind any time I think of, uh. No, Octopussy. Skyfall 007. Yeah, some of them some of them are weirdly named. Octopussy being up there. Okay. okay. Um, Anyways. There is... <laughs> but, it's a, but it's a crocodile, so it's a croctopussy. It is. Well, it wasn't supposed to be, but it is, apparently. But it is! Yeah, Welcome, you're in, game, like, and I say, you're in a game with I, a known that, monster I, fucker. Right. That, that's an interesting name, but uh, Croctopussy is easier to remember, and so maybe you guys should call it that now, because I think more people will understand that and go, oh yeah, that's what I saw, because when I say that, people immediately can get an idea of what it is, so, yeah. <coughs> oh. Well, I will take that into consideration. Cool. No back. Um, what are your yes. intentions with coming to Sanctuary? I was told we should come here because it's safe. And you, Thorvaldson? Um, why, why are you suddenly turning to Grog? <laughs> um, that was not the right <laughs> voice. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> wow, the Zona yeah. 2 really makes yeah. you sound differently there, Tor. Yes. Tor. Uh, I am returning from our usual... <laughs> going fucking home. Yeah, I'm returning home <laughs> from our usual uh, demon hunting mission. Uh, hopefully uh, without situation. He, he wants to get rid of me. I do very much want to get rid of you. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I see it. I knew it. If you didn't talk quite as much, I wouldn't mind your company. You're a very... Hey, when there's nothing else to do, what do, what do you expect me to do? Knit? <laughs> what? What, 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 what? I don't know how to knit. 
And also, what was it gonna knit with? Did you have, do you have like some secret pouch on your front of you that you have like knitting stuff hanging onto that you would have been like, here, knit this with? Um. No, no, I don't. Yeah, that's what I thought. So why did you bring up some stupid idea if I couldn't even do it anyways? All right. Well, my apologies then. Do you have any other questions? This is fun. Uh, are any members of your party a potential threat to Sanctuary or its allies? Do they associate with known demons, to the best of your knowledge? Well, the only one who did like associate with a demon, he killed her. So, he, he, he was... He was uh, it was his girlfriend for a while, and then when he realized he was a demon, he cut her in half, and uh, that was a whole thing. And which member of your party um, fucks with demons? That, that, that was the guy up there, Kieran. He's like my dad. So your father figure <laughs> has romantic entanglements with demons, all right? Well, when he, he, did, he didn't know that at the time, and like I said, when he found out, he killed yeah. them. And, yeah... And then, I mean, do, do you consider people with horns and tails demons? Mm, no. Okay, then never mind. <laughs> uh, My other father I, figure had, like, that has a thing with the person with horns and tail, so you know. I want Sir Wellington to explain the Marvel Universe to me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> He would be such a fun narrator. Yeah. So this guy woke up with a shield, right? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> but other than that, I don't know. Um, some of the people that had been traveling with us, uh, I, they they are going... I, I, one of them's going a different way that was going to take longer. And... Um, and so I, they were, because they were ahead of us, and then we met the we met the scouts, and they were like, oh, you guys are going a really long way. You should go this way. It's like one day away, and we thought it was like another three weeks. So they'll probably show up in like three weeks or something like that. Um, and besides that, though, um, I don't know where Abigail is anymore, but if I will say, if you see, if Abigail comes in, um, the only thing that you should not let is the 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 demon cat that uh, that Abigail has because it is not a nice cat. All right, so slow down. Uh, you have one other member who is coming, and can I get love, their name? We love boy. <laughs> boy. <laughs> no, yeah. So there was there 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 was uh, Callie who is on ho another horse um, that went ahead because. Um, uh, Sigurd, who was like, Oh no, you gotta go to Sanctuary. It's gonna be bad if you don't go to Sanctuary. It was like, then, then he sent her on earlier, and because he knew he could save her, turns out, and I thought there was something fishy about him, but even though he was, even he was trying to save people because he didn't like what was happening at that enclave of demons, and then, uh, Abigail was like there but then she left and I don't know where she is right now but the the cat that Abigail has is not nice and was very mean and it, it also has wings and probably if, if that looks like a demon you could not let it in and I would not be upset okay so uh, if you could be so kind um what the fuck could you describe <laughs> this Abigail? What does she look like? And um, she has a demon in the form of a cat with her. All right. She's no, like making I, notes. I, I, I mean, it's, this it, thing. I don't know. I don't know if it is a demon, but it's demon a cat kid. and it you has said it was wings. A demon cat. Hey, I mean, it has the wings and it's horns. I've not seen a cat looking like that before. So I mean, I'm I'm presuming it is demon cat. So I don't know. But it it speak it speaks a it 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 speaks like a cat. Speaks like a cat. Well, I mean, I talk to animals, 
So, I mean, it, it was like meowing at me and it told me its name and then I misheard it and then it got mad at me and was yelling at me and I didn't <laughs> like that. And so, like, I shot some, like, some magic at it and then Abigail was yelling at me saying I was not nice to the cat. Um, but you know what? That cat wasn't very nice to me first, so... If if you please explain, the cat in question is or yes. is not a demon. I don't know. You do not know. It's a cat with wings but you attacked and it. horns. Yes. All right. She's like making more notes. It, it chucked a fireball at me. Fireball. Hey, hey yo. <laughs> it chucked a fireball at you. <laughs> yes. All right. So likely demon. He's not. He's my boy. <laughs> he's just a baby. <laughs> All right. I will make sure that is noted down. Um, Have the the starfish from Finding Nemo. He's other just friend, a boy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Your other friend. Uh, does do they uh, associate with with demon cats or any other type of demons as well? Well. well at the time, she would not have known that Sigurd was a demon person. So no, not knowingly. But I think everyone here associated with Sigurd to an extent. And uh, I would say Callie probably is the most innocent because Callie uh, associated with them before uh, Sigurd was like weird demon. And but then everyone else associated with Sigurd after they were weird demon. But Sigurd was also trying to help us escape. Okay, so he was eating animal blood to save uh, to not go after other people because he did not like hurting other people. All right. Um, back this up. Where was this that you were associating with demons? Oh, right until the point where the where where Thor and them showed up at the place, uh, Sigurd had disappeared. Okay, good to know. Good to know. He was he was guiding us to to sanctuary so that we could leave, and be free. So you were sent by demons to sanctuary. Okay, good to know. No, not sent. We were being guided. I I have in all caps in my notes. Talaris's name is Levi, but I do not for this campaign for some reason. But I do not have the true name of the Croctopussy so far. But I, no it's great to know your priorities are straight. <laughs> it, it's it, it's in the survivors <laughs> chat. The real name is it. The actual yeah, you, name you, of the Croctopussy. It's either that or in our one-on-one -on -one chat. You had sent did it you to drop like it? you did send it. I remember. Okay. Or or it's in the server. It's in one of those. You sent it with the image of what it looked like. I probably sent it to you then. Uh, Maybe. I really want to find I the name because this was I my chance. I remember, I remember seeing it. This was my chance to share it and. Do, 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 That it's not a crocodile. Although. It's going to keep being that. It's still yes, going to be called a crack. Obviously. All right. It will never not the... be a crack. But at least I can get it to where my, my NPCs are calling it by its correct name. It's not it. It's not in our one on one chat. Let me I'm, you. Lo I'm looking at the at the the denial chat because maybe it was in there. Um. Anyhow, so. Yeah, she takes a lot Go on. of notes. What? Go on, keep doing your thing. I'll look for it. Uh, she takes a lot of notes, especially at the mention of you guys being sent by a demon. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> After a minute of her, her writing, silently, she goes, All right, well, thank you very much. You've been most enlightening. Oh, yeah. Do you plan to do anything harmful to any members of Sanctuary? Not right now. Not right now. Now, 
Right. Well, I mean, I mean you're, you're asking someone a very, like, long-term hypothetical question. But if someone is mean to me and, like, attacks me, then I'm not going to say I'm not going to attack them back. because Or, like, and also, I can't say, I'm, again, I'm, I'm, look at me, I'm five. I enjoy, I enjoy pranking people. So I can't say that I'm not going to pull a prank at some point. Um, and I will do my best to not physically harm people, but I cannot talk about emotional damage. I might have scared some people and caused uh, before an area where the right. the whole the, the guards uh, doubled because they thought what I did was real. Okay. So um, well, at least you're being honest. Uh, I mean, this is what you call a zone of truth, right? So I am yes. being I, I, I mean, I don't usually lie anyways. So it's something where, like, pretty much any time I talk to someone, I think it is best policy to be honest and forthright anyways. And so I usually just tell people the truth. Uh, so I don't have the actual name. I just have the AI generated. Well, that's picture. a shame. I guess the actual name has been lost to time and space. Someday I will find it. Years from now, after this campaign is concluded. Um, she proceeds It'll come to, to you at your rocker. Right. She will... She continues to take notes. She, she makes several notes. Um, and she goes, Well, thank you very much for your time. It was my pleasure. Do try to I, stay I really out of trouble. This. So do you do, like... Do, do you do, like, game night where we where people, like, go into here and you just get to ask questions for fun? Um, not for fun, no, but... I think you should start doing that. I think that would be really funny. You should have, like, that... a monthly game night where you, like, where people come in here and you, like, take turns asking really weird questions or stupid questions and see what the answers are. I, think well, that would I don't be really funny. ask stupid or weird questions. Well, I'm not saying you do right now, but I'm saying that could be really funny and that, that could be a fun thing to do. Okay. Like like this, hey hey Tor, would you like to have your belly tickled? Well, there is a butterfly riding on your nose, and there are pixies fluttering around you, singing your name. No. No, I I really would not. Why? Because it's not my idea of fun. What's your idea of fun? Definitely not that. What's your idea of fun? Other? The zone compels you! A nice... Nice restful walk on the beach. At sunset? The sunrise, actually. Ah... I, I heard there's this thing where they do like dating, or they do like do dating things where they pin their, their a, a picture of themselves on the board in town, and people sometimes write things like going on long walks on the beach at like sunset, and that just reminded me of that. That's that sounds like a really interesting way to meet someone. Yeah. <laughs> the the uh. The poor centaur is, like, doing that, that, like, you know, I have to pee, walk in place thing. And he's just squirming through these questions. Can, can we go now? Do I have to continue answering questions here? Um, no, you may proceed. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, let's go to Wellington. He's a whoop, uh, bolt. <laughs> like, he's off to the derbies. Uh, derby. Um, <laughs> out of the zone of truth. And uh, you are off to the next zone. <laughs> yeah, my guess is that the other the other two when this happens to them will not be nearly as long. 
I'm certain they won't be as long. <laughs> oh, man, man. So. <clears throat> we pan over to Abigail. Yes. What is Abigail doing on a beautiful gray, morose, usual, <laughs> dank, dusty, it burnt flesh, done. air smelling afternoon? <laughs> My favorite days. <laughs> Maybe it's uh, a little bit of acid rain outside or something. Eh. No, actually, the acid rain's to the south of here. It's not up here. Yes, you right. haven't found that area yet. Let's not. I'm. I mean, it, unless something has changed, I'm gonna keep doing what I've been doing. I'm gonna study. I'm question gonna... mark. <laughs> <laughs> no, that wasn't a question mark. That was a straight answer. Um, tasks. Things I have to do. Okay. Yep. Very confident. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh... So, you're basically spending all your time studying. Uh, what a good student you are. <laughs> no, well, no, no, right? It's terrifying. No, like a, a mix of things that I have to do. It's like studying. I'm going to check on my phone. I'm going to do whatever tasks. Bullshit that I have to do. Bullshit. I mean, it's not really anything else. You're just waiting for the next blood moon now. Oh, he doesn't have to have me set up stuff for anything. You I just, just have got to it set up. You've got all the things he needs. Okay. It, you kind of have free time. <laughs> uh, okay. Free time. You've had three weeks of free time, and now you have three more weeks of free time ahead of you, so. Okay. I'm gonna... How... I don't know if, how I would go about determining this. How good do I feel about my abilities in this ritual? <laughs> How good do you feel about your abilities in this ritual? How confident am I? That you can actually perform it? Yeah. Roll a... What would be a confidence check for yeah. Abigail? <laughs> but it's not... <laughs> confidence check. Let's do a charisma. A charisma check will be her confidence level. <laughs> okay, confidence but, check. Yeah, but confidence... But, like... Is that just... Blind confidence, or is that gonna give me any insight? It would be like you want to use. I would say use insight or arcana. Alright, yeah, good point. Uh, Self evaluate yourself. If, if, if this is confidence, what is it a confidence in? Yeah, like, are you? If it's your ability, I would my, say do an arcana. Yeah, like the ability to perform what, well, like do the ritual well, like go, for okay. things to go well. When it would, yeah, so arcana. you don't blow yourself up, basically. I, yeah. Yeah, I would say Arcana. Yeah. Okay, I would do Arcana. It, yeah. it, or, okay. or if you really want to do like confidence for Arcana, like you might know it in Arcana, but your confidence for it, do, take half your charisma modifier and half your, uh, your like intelligence modifier and like mix them. The heck are you talking about? That's a spliced <laughs> roll right there. Yeah, because because then it's like the charisma is like kind of the confidence part, a little bit of the that confidence part, but then the intelligence for the arcana is like that knowledge part. So like, how well are you actually going to be able to do it? Okay, or me, can I roll sense. like? Should I roll also just like maybe arcana to see how well she can actually do, do it, mm -hmm. and then insight yeah. to see how well she thinks she can do it? <laughs> mm -hmm. Nerd yeah. guy says just do it. Yeah. Just do it. Just fucking do it. Oh, okay. Your dad right. says just do it. Just do, do what? Thing. Do the thing. Do the ritual. Okay. So the I can't. <laughs> I gotta be the moon shit. Well, okay, but you can do it. Okay, seventeen for the Arcana check. So that's how she can actually do it. Fucking 
or no? Stab a cat. I don't know. Wait, 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 wait. So your arcana was 16, right? 17. 17. Okay. Roll the insight. Nine. (laughs) Okay. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. She can. She knows all the technicalities and stuff. She can do it. Absolutely confident in her abilities. No, oh, that's not good. For player knowledge, she does actually know how to do it. She has. I don't like has, that. <laughs> with 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 the uh, yeah with the poor insight, Abigail doesn't really care. She's like, I could wing it and do just fine. That's realistic. She is not self reflecting. <laughs> that is at how all. she would feel all the time. She, she's, that's fair. She's not self reflecting. She's not like, man. True. Did I study enough? To, that's my question. Are my six hundred years of lounging <laughs> around doing nothing and having thralls bring me everything I need going to hinder my abilities? Or can I? I do I need to work hard at this? Nah, she's like, yeah, yeah, no, I don't need to study. I got this. Now, I read it the night before. <laughs> right this now, is the I moment of the, the CEO going to the register's job and, like, crying. Yeah. <laughs> I, I could wing this halfway through the ritual and I'll be fine. Now, I just in gotta... reality, she does, with the 17 Arcana, she has actually paid attention enough to be able to do this. She can do this. She actually can. Player knowledge, though. Um, oh, shit. Abigail it doesn't, doesn't matter. She thinks she can do it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She thinks she can do it. Now, at 17, know. can she do it perfectly? You know, it'll depend on when we get there. She's not rolling with advantage, that's for sure. <laughs> her her confident, overconfidence might be her undoing. We'll see if she palpatines oh. this. A- absolutely. <laughs> Always. Okay. Um, in that case, she's probably going to chill with the studying. She's like, I got this. Not studying I'll, anymore? Okay. I'll, ch- I'll check it again, like, the night before or something. Are you like, going to go back and start researching again? Researching what? Well, you were experimenting with different potions and stuff, working your way through Coraline's list. Oh. The, the infinite blood flow supply that you figured out and all that? You learned you could, like, glitch out magic and be like, you know, if I, like, almost drain this person and then, like, shrink them and grow them big and then back to normal, the body gets confused and the magic refills their blood. And then I can be like, yay, more blood for me. Um, you know, that whole thing. <laughs> um, how much time do we have before? You got three weeks. Uh... Well, you had a month and a half at the beginning of this, so technically you have a month and a half. We're starting, you know, a couple weeks back to give you kind of a little montage of what you do. Yeah, if she feels that confident, she probably wouldn't mind doing something else. She can do that. Alright. So. It was a mistake to take a bite before talking. Mm hmm. Don't talk. You, you insert, mm-hmm. chew, swallow, peek. Mm-hmm. Open the door mm-hmm. and then walk through it. Mm. Mm. Yep, off the cliff. Right. Does that make sense? Absolutely. I was on board. I'm dead. So yeah, anyways, <laughs> Abigail has died. Abigail has died. Roll a new oh. character. No, I'm kidding. Damn it. You go looking for Micah. She's dead too. No, yeah, well, she mm, forgot to breathe. That throws suffocated everything. Of course, she forgot <laughs> to breathe. <laughs> Damn, that is a legitimate risk at this point. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh shit, she needs to breathe. Yeah. One particular afternoon, you finished up another list of uh, Coraline's experiments, and you're bringing back the uh, the filled out form. If there's anything that Abigail excels at, it's being neat. Uh, and you bring back the forms and open up the door to find that her candle is not on the desk, as it has been for the last couple of months. It. 
She has opened up the jar, pulled <clears throat> the tiny galley out, waited a couple Puppy. seconds for her to go back to full size, and has administered an experimental potion to her before uh, the person could wear it off. Hey, yo, what's up? <laughs> so, <laughs> could. Uh huh. Selkie, roll a d100 for me. Oh, I love those! I love d100! They're, they're my favorite! Are it tonight. Yeah, they're my favorite. You've been asking me to roll so many d100s lately, and I'm like stressed out every time because I know you, you've got a little chart pulled up. Hey! Oh, this isn't Kralis. Fuck. And um, eight. No, 19. 19! Yeah. This, I was like, yes! Wait, this isn't Kralis. <laughs> Low doesn't necessarily mean good. That doesn't. This will be I'm fun. Stressed. Callie, oh boy. Uh -huh. you can suddenly move as whole person wears off after months of being a candle on the desk. You've seen, Ow! You've seen her do all sorts of experimentations with other people. Like, everything from, like, they grow an extra long, thick beard, all of us just, like, instantly, to, like, they gain an extra head, to, like, the flesh just melts off their body. Like, all Are sorts of Are you giving my reason. sunshine child trauma right now? You have been sitting <laughs> on this desk for two and a half months, observing her. Witnessing human experimentation. Yep, yep. Um, human. Yeah, she tries to keep them alive, but quite frankly, it doesn't usually work. It doesn't always work. How have they kept Selkie alive? Hmm? I am a candle. Yeah. Yeah, how, how's, what's their how's Cal, Like, how's Callie's, Callie been kept alive? How's Selkie's character been oh, kept she alive this everyone. time? Okay, that's good to know. Yeah. Was there a lid? Did I associate I, I, myself being no? I, literal I gave light. you air holes. There's, there's air holes okay. in it. Yeah. <laughs> Abigail they, did like. They, oh wait, right, because she's not in glass. Because y'all would be stupid to put the per the kid who eats glass in a glass jar. Well, you were You're in, in glass. glass. It's just you had a whole person on you, so that you couldn't eat it. They've um, they've been well. bottle feeding you. Yeah, literally. She she has like this little dripper. You know, like how they feed mice <laughs> at like vets. And she was like, "All right, oh, there no. you go." And she was like, "All right, there you go." <laughs> Everyone else, she just like, uh -oh. eats crumbs and like sprinkles well, I mean, them hold... in feeding time. Yeah, because hold person cannot be doing any like real stuff. So. Yeah. So you just you've been getting bottle fed for a couple of months. <laughs> and by I've the been way, experiment. Also, it does let's, not taste let's, good. Let's be unless. Did did the person uh, cast uh, restoration on Cali after coming out? No. Why? As someone who is in a coma for two weeks as a teenager m the muscle atrophy that happens just from like in that time Ow! that would happen here oh oh no oh my poor monk <laughs> oh no <laughs> oh so, no <laughs> that's a good point you'll be rolling disadvantage checks for any physical checks until you get this back under control i have two classes and they're both melee <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> sorry well, <laughs> thank you, Sir Wellington, for adding this Great. additional trauma. <laughs> you know what? Give me a constitution saving throw for me. Great. I want to see if you're able to stay standing when hey, the whole I've person got wears off. Pretty decent constitution. Constitution save? Yeah. Okay. That's usually higher, so. What? Four. Four? Four? Four. Four. You can never get these. Would you not I can one? never pass Constitution Did checks. Did you not one or something? No. no. You got two. I I rolled a two and I have a oh. plus two in my Constitution. Okay. Yeah, even, even I can never saves? pass Constitution checks, huh? Even, even with the saves, save? yes. <gasps> even with my saves. Okay. All of my points are in my strength and my dex. Gosh. Well, a whole person wears off and your legs just buckle. <laughs> so, so Abigail walks in to see her her administering this potion to Callie, and then all of a sudden Callie just collapses, crumbles into a pile on the ground in front of Abigail. <laughs> also, Callie, at this point, you would be well aware that Abigail has been working with this woman 
because Abby oh, yeah. keeps coming back with reports on how the various experimentation has been going on. And you haven't been unconscious. You're awake and aware. You're just sitting there silently observing all this. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. EA. <laughs> What does Ian do? The amount of the amount of times that I have said this. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Gosh. You're Oh uh, but good. We're being so, menaces. You are all menaces. Hello. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm a menace. Hi menace, I'm Dad. Yep. It's it's gonna be a great moment. What, if and if and when Ice New Stars ever invites me to one of their uh, one of their games, oh, no. uh, they're just gonna like. You're gonna break them. Hate me. Gonna hate me. <laughs> I love you, Ice New Stars, but it's like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> you you get you break anyone. You know how to break anyone. So does Ian and Naz, for that matter. So do Ian and Naz. Welcome okay, to so the Chaos Crew. Chaos Crew 2.0, 1.0, 2 That's Team Chaos. That's yeah. different. Oh, this yeah, is Chaos right. Crew. Chaos Crew and Team Chaos. That's true. That's a good point. Those are different things. So, Callie, you're Hi. free to move again and talk. You Am I? Bomb your <laughs> I am incredibly today. atrophied. You feel something. Oh. Um, a feeling you've never You begin felt to twitch. On the ground. Uh huh. Oh. You convulse. And convulse. <laughs> We're having a stroke. Not a stroke. Uh, you begin uh, to, uh, you begin to foam at the mouth, and uh -huh. you see, double. No triple. No quadruple. No quintuple. There's five Abigails and five Coralines, which you've figured out from this at this point that that is her name. Before what? You. It is. Dizzy, and all of a sudden you feel an excruciating pain right at the base of your tailbone Ow. and it feels like your tailbone protrudes outwards you feel something rip skin clothing you're not sure oh no i mm, go on and you reach back and instinctively all of a sudden, you, you like your whole back hurts, and then itches, and you finally stop convulsing, and you're just laying there panting, and you need now to gone. scratch your back because it now itches like all like if, when you just had like that numbing thing after like you know like it really you were really in a lot of pain. And so they like they gave you the like when you go to the doctor and you like they gave you that numbing stuff. So now you're not in pain, but you're itchy. It's like that, yeah. Oh, post-tattoo shit. Yeah, like that, right. Yes, yes, you need to itch. You need to scratch. It hurts. Don't scratch. Now it's scratch. itchy. Don't roll scratch your tattoos. Roll a d4 for me. A d4? Mm-hmm. Four. Perfect. Oh. <laughs> you scratch your back. Uh-huh. It feels good. And then you realize both your hands are clasped in front of your chest. What? <laughs> but you're currently scratching your back. Uh-huh. How many extra limbs do I have? Give me a... I was gonna say, give me a perception check with advantage, because I need to make you roll something <laughs> that you can pass. <laughs> and <laughs> I mean, it's kind You're of asking, You are asking too much of me, apparently. Well, maybe not. That's a 15. 15? Oh, yeah. You only need a 10. Because as you kind of, like, look, and you kind of, like, hold out this hand, you have a prehensile tail. Oh. And Coraline is just looking at it going, well, that wasn't supposed to happen. The fuck was supposed to happen? I was experimenting with a new long-term, um, you know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'll have to relabel that bottle. What do you think, Abigail, darling? 
<laughs> she has a tail. Yes, tail she does. All this time. Wait, wait, but now I now I really have to know because of the fire to naughtiness, am I a Charmander? <laughs> <laughs> More like a Charmeleon. We're a Charmeleon because we're teenage days. Give me a give me a uh, <laughs> give me a give me a charisma check. Please, I want to be a uh, uh, Chris. Well, actually, unless you've got scales, you might be an Infernape. Hey, I'll take it. I'll take a fire monkey. I um, mean, that that's got like fire on the head as well, so that true. works for you yes, a little I bit better. I an Infernape. Um, and not bad. It's an eighteen. Oh yeah, you even find, with my negative like, one. Go because your tail goes back and it ends in like this little lion tuft that you oh. realize you can ignite into a little flame. I am a freak of nature, but I'm so cute. <laughs> and yes, it is completely prehensile. I hate this, but I love it. <laughs> I hate the image that this creates, <laughs> but I'm a fan of it. <laughs> uh, we gotta update the mini. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, right? We have a tail. A little flame tail. Little plain tail. Oh, she's a little fire monkey. She's so cute. <laughs> she is. She's so cute. My idea was I was I was trying to see if I could enhance her flame ability. The candle she was acting as was a little bit dim. And uh, I wanted to see if I could kind of like extend the flame on top of her head. Um You could have asked! This is not the intended You can do that naturally. Yes! Cut the fuck! And just do spin. No kidding. Well, you weren't too talkative the first few months, so. I wonder why! I should actually. Did Abigail mention that whole person had been cast on Kelly? She probably wouldn't have specified it she would have assumed How it was would obvious Coraline not have realized yeah. that this person <laughs> was active when a person is not moving at all yeah, for months she was she would have assumed it was obvious so she may not have specified it I need all. to check and see because this is like mad scientist isn't paying attention think the professor from back to the future yeah not necessarily aware of the obvious shit if it doesn't have like big numbers attached to it so I need to roll a thing to see. Okay. Um it with a, with an 11, it took her a while to figure it out. At first she thought Callie was just being this really ugh, sassy teenager who's like, "I'm going to ignore you because I am mad." <laughs> and then she realized she's like, "She's not eating the food I'm tossing in there." She really should be moving by now. And then she would, like, you know, shake the jar a little bit. <laughs> She's just sliding around. <laughs> she was like, okay, something's going on. Um, so it took her, like, a, almost a week to figure it out. But she did figure it out on her own. <laughs> so Callie in there is just like, ee, plunk. <laughs> Why are you sleeping? Yeah, right. Basically, basically. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, so she said, like, "Yeah, it actually took me a while to figure out that um, you would cast another spell on her. I thought she was just being rather sassy." Yeah. The Young ones tend to act like that, but no, it was actually a spell. I'm it's sorry, I should have specified. No, 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 it's alright. It was quite the fun uh, adventure figuring out that secret. But, um, I, uh, I, I don't know what use I can have for, for a candle with a prehensile tail. Tell you what, um, do you need more test subjects? I became, I have a tail now. Can I go home? 
And, oh, sweetheart, this is your home. Um. We're working on something to go back to the... It, you'll be fine. Are you sure? Because y'all were experimenting and I have a tail now. Well, sometimes... And that guy has two heads. So I almost wonder what the experiment is. Oh, no, no, my experiments are completely different from my husband's. He's the one that's working on the portal back to mm -hmm. other continents. Mm -hmm. What? Mitosis. <laughs> Mitosis, yes. Mitosis. <laughs> Trying to learn how to split, like, duplication. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of cool. <gasps> I should mention, since this is a brand new part of your body, this is the only part of your body that you do not have to roll with disadvantage for. Hell yeah! <laughs> so anytime you use your prehensile tail, it's a straight check. Anything else is cool. disadvantage. I am a tiny little monkey. You are. I, I can't get over the fact that I'm a tiny little fire monkey. You literally are at this point. I'm a tiny little fire monkey. I mean, if you wish to borrow her for a while, uh, you know what? If nothing else, actually, I've never, I've never successfully. So, I think what I did is I mixed up my labels again, because I just I tried to to you know in improve the fire, and I accidentally gave her a tail. Uh, there was a time I was trying to work with with limb multiplication and adding like you know, additional arms or legs or tails, and I accidentally incinera incinerated the uh, the test subject. So perhaps I simply mismarched the labels. That might have been it. Um, my apologies to you, um, little one, and of course to the uh, unfortunate test subject. Um, something, something rests his soul. This, maybe the soul rests. I don't, I don't care. No souls rest here. It doesn't matter. But, um... Yes, I have to get back to work. Uh, Abigail, if you could be so kind as to take her off my hands just for just for a couple of days. I run some run some tests, see how her her tail works, um, put her under some duress, see how she handles that. Um, tell you what, tell you what, if you wish to do some field work, you can, you can experiment out there. You could perhaps find some animals that, to bring back as new test subjects. Go hunting a bit. Um, and, uh, and, and have her do some hunting with the tail. I want to see how she does it catching things with the tail. See if it's, uh, more for defense or offense. Because there is a difference there. Uh, well, that sounds doable. Oh, wonderful. Splendid, splendid. All right. Well, you should you know, get off the... And she's going to, like, grab Callie and kind of pull her up. Yeah! Oh, all right. And she'll kind of, like, just, just expect you to stand on your own when she gets you up. Me. All right. Now, you should go out. Shoot, shoot. I have work to do. I have work to do. By the way, Callie, could you give me a perception check? Retroactively. I just realized... Retroactive something. perception check. Uh-huh. Dirty 20. You recognized several members of the shipwreck oh, among the shit. test subjects. Uh, um, hmm. One had his skin melted off. Um, another one had her bones grow... Until they just kind of burst out through the skin. Um, that was unfortunate. She was trying to do a growth potion. And for some reason, it was only calcium-based body parts would grow. So, oh. nails and bones grew. Nothing else. Um, didn't end <laughs> well. Uh, there was... Um, she experimented with uh, that that girl that you were in the coffin with, uh, Briar. Um, she is half cat now. <laughs> oh, adorable. Yeah. Um, from the waist down, she is a cat. Oh, wait. Oh, not that kind of cat. 
Oh. <laughs> We're, we don't get cute cat girls. We got girl cat. <laughs> right. She is. She was. Uh, she was experimenting with animal changes and accidentally mixed it wrong. So she only half turned Dip. into a cat. Um, Bottom up. Yeah. She is. She is a uh, cat sater essentially. Oh. Cater. <laughs> a cater. <laughs> a cater. Yeah. Yeah. Um. <laughs> uh the Alright, which one? What? Which one is, which one is Briar? Briar is uh yeah, is... No <laughs> Cursed Cursed <laughs> Cursed Cursed Hang on Cursed I did actually get Lisa's Lisa's approval. Cursed. Oh my god, she's actually <laughs> Oh no Cursed <laughs> Um, it's the last one, isn't it? It's the last one. <laughs> that no. with human ears. No. Briar's the last one, right? <laughs> this is this is Briar. This is cursed. Oh, Can't. I I actually do need to roll and see if she sprouted ears or not. I should check that. Um. Because that is okay, actually it's only two legs. It should have been the last one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Fuck no. Um. Uh. <clears throat> <clears throat> so she's a yeah she's a cater. Um. There were a few other individuals. Um. One she accidentally turned into a coffee cup. Um. Oh. Hmm? Don't was... drink out of her. <laughs> Don't don't do it. Uh, that was that was someone you you recognize as someone you'd actually had interactions with one of the other teens from the shipwreck. Um, All the, their fate was become a pottery coffee mug. Yes, she was she was that one. She was trying to. Um, gosh, what the heck was she? Oh oh, she was trying to um, cure caffeine addiction. And instead, I, this is just, she does random stuff. She gets her notes mixed up. She's literally oh, like a more, it's like Honey, I Shrunk the Kids meets Back to the Future in the worst possible ways. <laughs> like, she has most, she doesn't staple her notes together. Each project has like 10 sheets. But because they're all loose, and she'll like, all over the place she'll be like okay i think this is it so page one is the ingredients for this page two is the ingredients for that over there page three is the ingredients for that poison page four is the ingredients for that one right there and it's yeah um she she, she we works. need to call perot right oh <laughs> <laughs> this this woman would be best pals with perot just because she doesn't really care about she doesn't view other beings as important. <laughs> well, just, they're there. They're test subjects. They're experiments. It's well, fine. Um, she's polite to them, but she doesn't care if they get, you know, vaporized or whatever. Oh, whatever. It was fine. Oh, there was one another individual that Callie recognized, another one of the teens from the ship, who she accidentally got shrunk indefinitely. Just getting increasingly smaller and smaller and smaller forever. That was... Uh, she's gonna find Ant-Man. Gonna right? go between the yeah, molecules. She's gonna wind up in the quantum realm. Uh, Ooh. So, that's unfortunate. Um, that was that was another one of her experimentations with uh, growth and size reduction potions. Um, got the dosage wrong on that one. So, uh, yeah, that's that's Coraline in a bottle for you, and we have now had, I think it's two and a half months, two months and three weeks of, no, longer than that, three months and a week of Callie being subjected to the various horrors that is this. No, you yeah, it was... my sunshine bean trauma. Yes, yes. Sorry, I had it right the first time. It was two and a half months. It increased her fear, her claustrophobia. Right? Yeah, because you were in a jar for 
Two months. Uh-huh. Yep. And before that, she was in a box. Yep. Oh, boy. And before that, that box was in another box. And then that box got mailed to herself. No, I'm kidding. Got mailed to myself. <laughs> and then I smashed it with a hammer. <laughs> no. um, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. So you are unceremoniously kind of shoved out the door with Abigail. What would y'all like to do? I'm still super active. Can, can you walk? Um, I don't know. Probably not well. well I'd rather not really, really. you. You can roll a... We can do strength check. I'll give it to you straight up because you could use your prehensile tail as a third leg. <laughs> if you want to do this weird walk thing. <laughs> How would that would work? Ask Kayla about that later. About that word choice. Ask Kayla about that word choice. Oh, why? Later. No. Gosh. <laughs> oh. I actually am familiar with that one. Courtesy of a guy I knew in college. Curse him. Curse him. <laughs> Thank you for your purity. reminding me. Thank you. <laughs> Mark him your purity. There's people here. It's non-existent. You guys broke <laughs> it long ago. Ah, well, uh, I hope I'm about to say Corinne. Uh, Callie can't walk. Oh, no. Nope, that's a six. Yeah, your your legs just buckle out from under you. Oh wait, is it a, is it a check or a save? Save. Save. Yeah. Ten. Okay, you struggle to walk, but you can. You need your prancer tail to like support you against stuff. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, I think we're upright. We're upright. We got that going for us. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, you're really slow, though. Uh, yeah, I know. You're telling me, Abigail. In 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 the greatest the greatest nicest of ways that I could possibly word this. What the fuck? What? What happened? I'm going to be a bit more specific. Why? Why did you bring me here? I thought we were we were friends. We were. <laughs> why did you say that? Because well, back at the. <laughs> I brought you here because Coraline sent me, asking to retrieve someone. And if you thought we were friends, then that's not my problem. The closest thing that Abigail has to a friend in this game is Sir Wellington. <laughs> I'll say it's actually boy, but... <laughs> Boy's a pet. And a friend. Boy would argue um, otherwise. No kidding. <laughs> do I still cats. have, like, do I still have, like, all of my things? Yeah. Okay. That was a mistake. You <laughs> smack me. <laughs> that was a mistake. Hey. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, that is why there are frequent escape attempts, is because she doesn't really pay attention. She just shrinks them down, sticks them in jars, and calls it a day. She's like, they'll be fine. They can't get out of this. They'll because be I fine. Because I said they can't. Now, she does have, like, a sort of formaldehyde that she sticks the troublesome ones in. Um, but it's got, like, magical properties, so it just kind of puts them into a stasis instead of, you know, actually killing them. Um, so Briar and some of the other ones who had tried to escape did wind up spending a few months in that. Um, it's, yeah, it's basically, like, a, a greenish, clearish... Remember those... NASA space sets we used to make 
as kids, or maybe this was just me, I was maybe just the only nerd to do this, you would buy these kits and you would build the model of the little, the, the like the mo- lunar man, la- lunar landing, lunar, lunar, <laughs> lunar, <laughs> lunar, <laughs> lunar landing, Dang. I hope I hope it's not a lunar. <laughs> oh boy! Markham's over there, just like over here. Look, quickly pulls out his pants. <laughs> Yikes! Fuck you! Um, <laughs> lunar Mandy, fuck me! <laughs> There's no M. Lunar landing. There you go. <laughs> In the, in Holy the shit! Lunar I did man, it. fuck me! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he's gonna, he's gonna, go, he's gonna send himself through a loop. <laughs> the lunar land, fuck no! <laughs> the the space. Markham, 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 did you have a Markham. stroke? The lunar landing. Yes, there lunar, is no M. Lunar landing. There, there we you go. go. <laughs> the lunar landing. I did it. Okay. Um, in those lunar manding... Fuck me! <laughs> God damn it! Why do you keep fuck. messing up? Why do I revert to the M? <laughs> the moon landing... Okay, there we go. In the moon landing oh, sets... I can say there moon you landing go. just fine. Um, you can't say lunar landing, though. Apparently not. Um, in the moon landing sets, um, where you would you would build the little set of the, the lunar module thing... And you'd, you'd, like, stick this them in this jar, and it had this kind of, like, clearish, greenish liquid that was kind of jello-like that you'd then stick the little astronaut figurines in, and it would make it look like they were floating just above the moon's surface and stuff like that. Was I the only one that played with those things? You bought them from, yes. like... Really? Man, I was I such a nerd. You, you bought them from, like, NASA, and I would get I've never them from seen relatives those. who used to work for NASA and stuff like that. Really? You've never seen those? I'll have to look it up. Now, now it we know where fun. your your fixation of putting things in jars comes from. It was fun! You filled it up with the jello, and then you stuck mm-hmm. the little guys in there, and it made it look mm-hmm. like they were floating above the moon's surface. No one How long did you leave them in there for? <laughs> well, technically that was supposed to be it. You were supposed to leave it there and then put it like, on a shelf, but I would like pull them back out, and I would like put them in like, different poses, so now they're like floating over here and now they're like landing on it and now they're like jet packing up off that one's like spinning off into space so i actually you know kept playing with it and like yeah anyway i had the luckiest thing i could ever roll in my life okay it's because the, because they made a mistake of not disarming me okay i still have my robe of many things beautiful and I rolled while you were struggling to talk. Fun, wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> and I rolled a forty-seven. Which is. Which means I summoned a riding horse with saddlebags. I'm getting the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I don't need a walk. <laughs> I just have a horse. <laughs> that. A horse did not stop you last time is all I'm going to say. Listen, man, but Abigail said we're not friends, so therefore I'm getting the fuck out of this place. I have no friends here. I got to go find my actual friends. Abigail's going to put me through more hell. Also, these are great. What are those? Oh, the melon cake hats? They're delicious. Yeah. So I've summoned my horse, and I'm getting out of here. I'm, I'm just going in a place. I don't even know what place we're in. The so horse is indoors. You are, yeah. You're in a tower. Well, hmm. you're going up like narrow spiral stone staircasing. Yep. Goodbye. You just summoned I'm... it inside. Uh huh. <laughs> How does this happen? I thought... Because I thought we were in a courtyard, and Kelly, now we have a horse in the elevator. Kelly and Abigail, make dexterity saving throws. The Kelly, horse is in a hospital. Kelly. Horse is in an elevator. I'm debating I whether know I should do make that. you... I'm debating whether or not Kelly should have a... I mean, if you want to say you wait until you get to a larger room, you can. 
Yeah, I I I assumed because they said go outside and practice mm-hmm. this that I assumed that it was going to be like a courtyard or some kind of situation. Oh, or like you have to walk. Yeah, yeah, she's like in the or something. She's like working in the. Yeah, no, she's working in her own tower. Yeah, we would yeah, we would wait until we got to like the fields. Okay. Go, okay. The, the the going out portion. Okay, fair enough. So as you guys and then we summon through, horse. Um. All right. So so as you guys are walking through, so you guys like go up the spiral staircase. Um. You go through this. Library. Make a perception check for me. Cool. I like libraries. I'm a monk. I do library things sometimes. Callie or both of us? No, Ooh. just Callie. You already know what's in here. 19! Nice. All the people. There's a girl oh, sitting very astutely reading piles and piles of books on magic who looks so very strangely like Abigail. But, like, she's only 16. My age, friend. There's another girl my age. Ah! Uh, I guess I can't do anything with that right now. Um, Because I'm guessing Abigail's ushering me, so I can't, like, Oh, friend, help me! This lady's fucking nuts! I mean, you can if you want. Abby- Gave me a fucking tail. It's kind of cool, though. <laughs> it's not... She's not touching you. She said she didn't want to carry you. Yeah, Abigail. But she's not walking next you. to you. What? Why would Abigail touch someone beneath her? I'm just kidding. That's this. You know, <laughs> she's a girly little monk. All right. Um. Can I actually try to make a run for it and hide in the library with a lot of hiding spots? Sure. Cool. Stealth versus perception. Cool. Since it is not like you're like parkouring, not parkouring or whatever, I won't give it to you at disadvantage. No, we're just gonna try to it's gonna run be and hide. Straight perception versus stealth. <laughs> well, I nat twenty. Hey, sixteen for a twenty-four. Nice. Abigail, Callie's next to you, and then she, like, looks over at something further in the library, and then just, like, <laughs> disappears. It's like when you're, it's like when you're babysitting, and all of a sudden the kid you're babysitting, you're like, okay, well, you know, if you don't want to be that way, and then, where'd you go? It's kind of that. <laughs> I've lost the child. Uh, do I know the direction she went in, or not even? With a nat 20, no, you didn't see where she was looking. Okay. Well, well maybe I mean, you saw, but you weren't paying attention. I... But we The only thing you can figure out is she's still in the library because the library doors have not opened or closed at either end. Oh, okay, okay. Because I was going to say she would probably want to go in the library because Micah's there. She doesn't want her to like go after Micah or anything. But... So she did she dash into the library or did no, she hide bo- in the library? You're both in the library. Oh, okay. So she's hiding somewhere in the library. Okay, she's just going to pull a chair and sit down. <laughs> you just fell out. <laughs> Like, All right, I'm here somewhere. Callie, what are you doing now that you are hidden? Um, everything in my body is pull a library of Alexandra. <laughs> Do not. <laughs> everything in my body is like you know I've been through some shit now. No, nobody needs to know what any of this is because this is some fucked up shit. Wow. Everything in my body is telling me this, and I have... (laughs) I am chaos with access to fire. Freely. Oh, boy. You're not gonna be happy, Markham, but it only took me a half a second. There you go. I am... Let me find it. (gasps) 
You found it! Where the heck yes, was that? I did. We need some love in our chats. Um. Thank you. You are my hero! Uh, yeah, I would. I have no other options of escape other than go out extremely. Um. Create noise. How do you. How does one create noise? Put it on fire. So, um. Yeah, and these are all free actions, or one actions, and just chilling with me. So, from my hiding spot, I would like to ignite a book on fire. Okay. With uh, pr produce flame. But uh, can I say something to her before that? Before she sure. starts lighting things on fire? Yeah, sure. We're just hiding right now. Okay. As she sits down, she's going to... She's gonna just sit down. She's not particularly looking for her. She's just kind of chilling. And she's gonna just say, Kelly, I did mean it when I said that someone here is working on something that can get us home. And his odds are much better than the rest of the parties. Now do with that information what you will. But if you want to go back to where you came from, you have some pretty good shots here. Can I ask for persuasion? Persuasion, <laughs> <Yeah>. yes. <laughs> not, <laughs> not burn this library. This whole tower is going to become a torture. Are you kidding me? <laughs> persuasion is 16. Persuasion is 16? Yeah. Uh, and I guess I roll insight now? Yep. Well, alright. So I guess, I guess, Abigail's being truthful. And I, can, I believe it. As far as you can tell, yeah, Abigail is being... Unless they're in intentionally lying to me. You you don't currently what? have any reason to believe that she would be lying to you about this. Yeah, I can. I think you can still choose to do whatever you want to do, but you just have that information. I know, I just have this. Yes. Um. Gonna slightly come out of spell. How, how far has he gotten? How close are we to go home? I'm very confident in my participation skills, and we are about a month away from that ritual. So then, what is the experimentation have to do with going home? Nothing. That's just how she is. <laughs> what else do you need? Is there something I can do to help? I mean, you didn't need to kidnap me and put me through that shit. You could have just asked. <laughs> asked yes. what? Fuck up, Abigail. For the record, Micah can hear all of this. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> She's just sitting there reading her book like, what the fuck? <laughs> if these motherfuckers talking to my goddamn fucking library, swear to God. <laughs> just. That's right. Ask what? If you want it to feel. Be... Gonna... <laughs> fucked up on emotion. <laughs> if. 
if there's a way to get out and there's someone with a way who knows how to get get home, then I'm pretty sure even everyone else would have been on board with that and we all could have helped. Yes, I'm sure Marcus would have oh, been Marcus on board with it. Oh, Marcus would have loved the idea of Abigail. working with, yeah. Listen, we're, we're not there yet, okay? I don't think that's quite how things would have gone down. And like I said, what you have been involved in is not quite the same thing that's going to get us home. So out of everyone else, it was just, I was just a random pick. You were alone? I had a, I had a horse. Yes, unfortunately, I was not able to get the horse. Hmm. Interesting thing to apologize for. <laughs> sorry, I didn't take your horse. <laughs> yeah, I know. I sorry, I couldn't capture that too. I wasn't apologizing. <laughs> I'm sad. I wanted to get to get the horse. <laughs> Knowing that, oh, Seagard's not going to be happy because that horse would have gone back to Seagard with the training. Maybe, yeah. We're gonna see an angry secret later. Take a few weeks I... or whatever, but I It's been a few weeks. Well yeah, it'll take a few more weeks for it to get back to you. Oh, yeah. This is all happened off. Screen. It's been it's been like two months since Callie's been in here though. No, I haven't. Oh yeah, it has. Been Has it been months. two Callie, months? Callie's been in here for two yeah. months. Because you guys were riding for two... You, you guys were walking for two months down to there before you met the centaurs. Uh... That being said, it didn't know Sigurd wouldn't be home, so it rode home. <laughs> <laughs> we keep missing each other. <laughs> God, this continent is so fucking big for what? We're only on like an eighth of it. How do we keep missing each other? We're in Australia. <laughs> <You're> in Australia. <laughs> yes. Pretty much. The ground, everything's, uh, it's, it's super hot and everything's trying to kill us. True. Hey. You know what's funny is this is the southernmost and most Australian shaped continent in my world. Well. Hmm. It is It is below the equator. I live um, in Australia. I don't want any more experimentation. That was... The, the tale's kind of cool. Some other that some of that other stuff was not so cool. I really want to get home. So if I can help the one who's trying to get us home, I will. At this point, I think it's a waiting game. What didn't you like about the experiments? It's... What? Okay, where do I begin? Um... You got the cold their bones, tail? Their bones came out of their skin. Your bones are all in your skin. Yes, I'm not talking about me right now. Yeah, but that's someone else, it's not you. Yeah, but I saw it. So? I don't 
don't know how to explain to you basic decency. You think you can? The <laughs> middle school senior is trying to explain to this grown woman what decency when the middle schooler has to explain decency, you know there's a problem. <laughs> doesn't happen to you. What's the problem? You're fine. What if what if it was someone you knew? Well, then I would be very upset. Okay. Yeah, you yeah, okay. We we made progress. Now you understand a little bit. Did you know the person with the bones? Uh, yeah, we kind of spoke on the boat. You saw them on the boat? You didn't know them? I... This is impossible. <laughs> okay, what? what's like the line? The fact that, that there should be a line is a problem. The tail should be a line. The fact that there's people in jars should be a line. Question for you. How loud are you guys getting? Are you Very. shouting? Yeah, Callie's upset. All right, I just rolled something. You hear a door slam as a very upset Micah goes somewhere else to read quieter. <laughs> a quieter place. <laughs> Callie's upset. <laughs> well, Micah is too now. <laughs> <laughs> Just, he's probably like at Cali, like, yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know, right? Sorry about her. <laughs> Sorry. I feel you. Sorry about her. <laughs> I don't blame her. <laughs> so, Jars is the line? It's one of them, yeah. There's God, only, are... like, a handful of things that could possibly belong into jars, and people are not one of them. Some people. No. I've met a lot of people that deserve to be in jars. And I've met even more people who don't. And I'm pretty sure most of those people in there don't. Think that you just pick them off at random, like you did with me, for your freaky oh. ass experiments. Yeah. They are random. It's amazing to me that you don't see the problem with this. <sighs> They're just random people. Why do I need to bother with getting attached and everything? Like, yeah, I understand you're half dead, but this is um, incredible how much humanity you've lost. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I didn't want it in the first place, but that's... The fact that that's your compliment. Right? <laughs> 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 I holy shit. <laughs> Listen. I don't want you going back to the camp. I don't want to deal with fucking Marcus. So I can make compromises to not get you experimented on or whatever. I would appreciate that. But there are tons of weird ass freaky monsters on this fucking continent that can be experimented on. Do 
the fact that you are experimenting on people who have already been through shit. is incredible to me. You I don't, don't care. Seems to be what she prefers. That doesn't, like, send off any bells or anything that this might be a bad person. Good the person, one trying to get a bad person. It's not really a good measure sometimes. You think you're a bad person? Or do you think you're a good person? I'm just like everybody else. You're not. What do you mean? Most people understand that what's going on down here is wrong. You're indifferent. That's a problem. I'm willing to help the person who's trying to get us home. That I can support. I can't help and just stand by and watch these other people getting going through that. This experience turned Callie into, like, lawful good here. <laughs> <laughs> Callie, Sometimes. multi-class into paladin. Multi-class into paladin. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Sometimes you're going to have to do what it takes. <clears throat> if you betray Coraline, then we lose trust with Histon. How is he going to let us through the portals? And by the way, I don't think you'll like the ritual very much that will get us home if you don't like this whole setup. So good person, bad person, I want to go home. Whatever person gets to walk through the portal, that will be me. So the way to go home, what, what's, what's the ritual? Histon has an agreement with otherworldly beings that Through the borrowing of certain people's souls will allow us to open portals at will. He's got a demon pack. I actually don't know that it is a demon. I'm pretty sure the gods aren't asking for souls. Well, it's not, they're not taking them. They're just mm -hmm. channeling it. You wouldn't get it. It's, don't worry about it. Yeah, 
I don't get it. And I guess you were right about one thing. I definitely don't like that plan. What's the point in us leaving if we die in the process? We're not dying. As far as you know. Why would we die? Stole, harvest, whatever. No, specific soul harvest. Not everybody's soul gets harvested. Okay, so whose specific souls are getting harvested? You know what? I don't think you need to know that. (laughs) (laughs) Right. That's been handled. And they will get it back. They're just being borrowed. Uh-huh. Yeah, I don't understand magic. Um, roll for delusion. I was going to say, yeah, delusion roll for, for what? yourself. Is it? Are they? I thought they were. You were never told it was borrowed. Well, they're getting energy sucked through them, so they could receive, potentially get... Put what? I don't know. What? I mean... This is what you believe, so actually, if anything, it would be persuasion, because you do firmly believe this. (laughs) What? (laughs) I'm lost. Listen. Your little... morality and bravery is very admirable, but in truth, if you want to go home, and I'm sure there's people you care about in your life... You're going to have to do hard things. Worst mentor ever. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) Killing strangers is not high up on that list of things I'm willing to do to go home. Well then, maybe you won't end up going home. How many people have you killed so far? (laughs) We're on a continent. We got here by boat. Which means there's obviously a way out. By boat. Uh, about that, I really would have loved for that to be an option as well. But I've been informed that there's a lot of shit in that ocean. Scary shit. It, it's You've the fucking it. ocean. There's a, it's a, the fucking ocean. There's scary shit in it. I'm totally no. aware of this. Like, packed beasts. Like that, uh, fucking crocodile thing. Oh, the octopusy. The yes. Crocopussy. Multiple things like that in swarms and packs and they are ruthless. Still. If that's not an option, then there's others. We've got thousands of ways to travel all around, and we can pick any one of them. I mean, depending on what level Markham lets us get to us, I can always take us out of place as well. Yeah, fucking teleport, bitch. Like, <laughs> I mean, you don't think the level 20 wizards here have tried that? I... They've, they've probably tried teleportation. I'm talking about plane shifts. Yeah. Uh. If you remember, there was this weird, almost anti-magic haze across this whole continent that kind of made some stuff weird. So it might be like... <laughs> As far as anyone, as far as you know... Yeah, but they're trying to do... They're trying to open planes portals anyways. Right. They are. So... But they're working with demons. People who work against them... As far as anyone knows, they just teleport straight to hell. They plane shift straight to hell. That's the only place it just spits out. Yeah, here. Congrats, you're at the River Six. <laughs> this is the only outlet. <laughs> Welcome to hell. You've died. <laughs> You're not dead yet, but you will be soon. <laughs> You'll wish you were. Um, God, it's weird being the nice one. <laughs> right? right? 
<laughs> I was being the, the mean one. <laughs> Gosh, Abigail scares me. Usually I'm a dick. God damn. <laughs> I'm not a dick. I'm just aggressive. Um. All this stuff makes me think of is the uh, welcome to the internet. Have a look have around. Have a look around. Yes. Anything that brain of yours can think of can be found. I'll do the whole song. Don't test me. It's. I can't believe out of all of the options we could possibly have, you jumped to the very first one with human sacrifices. Okay, first of all, they're not sacrifices. Back to this again. Um, and second boring. of all, I had a very I'm not good stealing. Idea. I'm borrowing. I'm exactly. Borrowing. <laughs> and second of all, I had a very good opportunity, and I convinced the necromancer to let well, me stop work you with right him. there. <laughs> Working with necromancers. Yes. What's Never bodes well. I am a necromancer. <laughs> I always work with necromancers. Kelly's like, I didn't know this. <laughs> oh, that explains everything. <laughs> <laughs> Things are starting to make sense. <laughs> hmm. Okay. In this ritual, you're giving up souls <laughs> to an entity. No. Six souls are being used to channel energy to contact her some shit an entity. And then what happens afterwards? The entity is contacted. No, what happens to the souls afterward? I could give two shits about what happens <laughs> to the entity. They get back into the persons. Do you know that? I'm pretty sure. <laughs> That's not a yes. Yes. Insight. <laughs> <laughs> Persuasion versus insight. Let's do this. Okay, well, can, she she can get advantage. She obviously just yeah. made that up. <laughs> okay, well, that gives roll deception. Roll, roll deception. Okay. <laughs> Ah, let me get to my deception. <laughs> let me lie. <laughs> my favorite activity. Hey, hey, out, out of curiosity, um, oh, am, I, am, I, am I allowed to give inspiration? How so? In chat. <laughs> Through the chat. Through the chat. I mean, Kelly already has inspiration. I, I, I already no. has advantage on this role. I don't know what, what no, more I, you want to do. No, I was going to give it to Abigail. To Abigail? Why? <laughs> sure. Why not? Okay. If chaos. you want to, like, yeah, bring chaos, chaos to the world, then yeah, you can I, do that. Is that a plus or an... It's a plus. It, it boosts I your... rolled really well, too. It gives you advantage. Oh, advantage? Okay. Yeah. You well, roll twice and take the higher one. Okay. I thought I'd roll higher than that, but possibly. <laughs> okay, so that's 26 deception. <laughs> 24 <laughs> oh. <laughs> Pigeon You're You're skeptical but she seems confident Oh you, I clearly just lied I clearly just made that up <laughs> so no? it's it, Kelly. She already had advantage though <laughs> All I right. clearly yeah. just made oh. that up. <laughs> That's so oh, weird. wait, can I just roll another one and take the higher of the three? No, we can't do triple advantage. <laughs> I, just, I just keep rolling until I get the roll I want. Do I get it? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I got 24. I, I was like, so proud. I was like, no. <laughs> no way. 26. Oh, <laughs> man. Listen, she lies a lot. Totally. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You are allowed to be skeptical, though. This does not remove skepticism. <laughs> well, yeah, no, think... she clearly, literally made that up just now. 
No, Kelly I, believes what you're saying, but is still skeptical of if it's true or not. Right. Yeah, like, okay. You she clearly believes, knows. She believes that Abigail believes it. Yes. I'm. Kelly isn't sure if it's true, but she believes that Abigail, in her heart of hearts, believes that they'll get their souls back once the ritual is done. <laughs> If she had in her one. still be still my not beating heart. There's just the void. <laughs> um <laughs> void essence. Void essence. It's from Stardew Valley. Um oh, I've been playing so much of that this past week. <laughs> By the way, Callie, you hang on to that. Your next check you get advantage. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Whatever it is. Whatever it is. You get it. Um, also, the next time you use that, make a note because you get the horse next time you uh, use that rope. You get when, the horse when yeah. we're when we're That's outside. Just... I'm using that horse. <laughs> um, I. Good luck finding your way. Right. You don't know where you are. We're just trying to go. One day later, it's bam back to the <laughs> tower. Yeah, fuck! Hi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> fucking servant chipped me. Slave chipped me from Star Wars. It just explodes if I try to run. <laughs> <laughs> you are on top of a mountain, so you could potentially get bearings. But but it is getting late. If you if you like stuck, we could leave it like with you two just facing off. Yeah, it is getting late, and I'm, I my brain is like uh, it. Uh, Alright, so here's uh, what we'll do uh, with, uh, uh, with that. Abigail just like is like yes, and and Callie is just you're just like staring at each other. So we'll kind of like pan out with you two just glaring at each other. <laughs> Abigail in kind of annoyance, and Callie in utter disbelief at just, the thickness what? of this woman. Not that kind of thickness, but like the thick-headedness of this. I mean. <laughs> I mean that too. That too. <laughs> uh, I've, seen, I've seen the model. Right. Let's not have the six hundred year old hitting on the sixteen year old. <laughs> I am not no. fourteen. <laughs> that doesn't make it better. Um, she is. She is not. Uh, so, so we'll, we'll pan over as Sir Wellington arrives at the next checkpoint. Just get the whole bathroom sequence where I was still on the back of this centaur as he's a toilet. Why? You were the one who said he had to use a toilet. He went no, rushing off. I, I was said still on he his was back. awkwardly dancing as one does when they have oh, to use the bathroom. The way you said it, I thought so he had to use. No. Oh, I thought he had to use a bathroom. No, because was he was like, so dang. uncomfortable with it did how make me... Sir Wellington was questioning him. <laughs> it did make me curious how that worked out during their, like, trip. Like, do, do the people just, like... Do centaurs just use their toilet as they're you... running? And, Is like, it like, like, like a horse? Horses? Like a or horse? Or you just look back or... and you're like, Woo, Thor, that was a smelly one. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> You know, anyway, I don't know. Right. I don't want to get into centaur bowel movements now. This is not how we're ending this <laughs> session. <laughs> Dude, you're ending it with Sir Wellington. So are you sure? Uh, it I'm not sure which is worse at this point. The Cali the Cali Gale, Cali Gale. I like that. The Cali Gale show off showdown or the Sir Wellington. Cali Gale. <laughs> Cali Gale. Um, That's our weird, right. weird shit name. Yeah. Um, All right. Sir Wellington Let's go. is now in the next section. A uh, you guys enter this kind of like other areas, like these gates close behind. So as you like line up, and each centaur with their with their ward rides through, and there's gates that are closed in the front. It's sort of like um, Jurassic Park, where they go and then the first gates open, they go in. Those gates close, and then the gates in front open, and they proceed. It's like that. Very high security. So while they're in there, and both gates are closed, they go up, and basically they, they kind of, like, they, they cast... What they're doing is they're detecting detect... Uh, they're casting detect good and evil. And um, <clears throat> they're, they're looking for any sign of, are you guys actually, like, demons in disguise or whatever? Um, or are you bringing demons with you? 
Um, and uh, so, you know, everything goes through, goes through just fine. Marcus goes through just fine. Uh, Kieran goes through just fine. Everyone else just goes through just fine. Um, Sir Wellington, it is finally, like, it's like a half hour of waiting in line. Um, I've just been talking to, to Thor this whole time. He's tired. He's like, yes, I, I understand. All right. Wonderful. What's your favorite color, Thor? My favorite color is uh, sky blue. That's a good one. The same, my, same my... color was the last three times you asked me. My, mine's probably sea green. Um, yeah. You realize you've told me that like seven times now, right? Harrison, what's your favorite color? My favorite color is purple. I love purple because it's royal and regal. I like that. I like it too. I will be a king one day. You know that? I will go back and I will I will get my family home back and I will become King Harrison. And I will help you get your family home back. And deal with the person. Yay! So you guys enter the gate. It's we'll take you. We'll turn. we'll go. I'm gonna take him on a fishing trip beforehand, though. Is is Sir what is Harrison on your on on Thor with you? I don't know. They if, uh, Harrison and Kaylee had been riding Thor with me. That's what I thought. Okay, yeah, yeah. So they're riding with you, and you guys enter. And like, oh, this will be... So I completely forgot that when we did your, your questioning because you have been asking questions to those two as well. I mean, so you I have mean, three small children answering in the most chaotic retelling of their adventure so far. And I can guarantee none of the three stories quite matched up. Because they all perceived it differently. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so but she has so but they're many all suspicious telling... notes. They're all, they're all telling the truth. Yep, their <laughs> truth, anyhow. <laughs> so, yep. she gets in there, and of course, she detect, casts detect, uh, good and evil on um, Thor. She's like, all right, all right, well, that's good. And, uh, and she goes through, and she casts it on each of you. And uh, the, the cleric goes, all right, and um, if you'll just state your names for the record, please. Actually, I need right. to give this one a different voice. Well, kind of give. There we go. This will be her voice. She's going. If you could just state this is this is going to be a southern cleric. If you could just state your names for the record, please. We love a southern cleric. All right. Wellington. All right, Wellington, and uh, you are. My name is Harrison. I am Sir Harrison. All right, um, uh, Harrison. And then you. I'm 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 Kaylee. I'm Kaylee. And and she's like, all right, and Kaylee, and then and then Thorvald Thorvaldson, uh, you don't need to say the full name. You don't need to say a full name, darling. I know your name. And she like jots that down. All right, <laughs> and she goes through and she's like, okay, <laughs> Thor. It's okay, Thor. It's okay, Thor. Um, she goes. She'll, she she has to take bad, a good and evil on each of you, and she'll she'll like make notes and come on. Um, Sir Wellington, if you could please come with me. Okay. And she'll like kind of help you down. It's, uh, right through that door, please. And, uh, okay. like, this, this, like, hidden door will, like, roll aside. Alright, very good, very good. Um, you guys, uh, uh, you guys are good to go as soon as I'm in here with Sir Wellington, alright? Oh, alright, um, do we need, no, go ahead. And she'll, she'll follow Sir Wellington. Do you have into... any cookies? Cookies? I don't know if we have cookies, but I can definitely check. Now. Um, I haven't had a good chocolate chip cookie in a while. Chocolate chip. All right. Well, let's make a note of that. Sir Wellington loves chocolate chip cookies. Kayla is mimicking this cleric with great amusement. Oh, uh, and you're adorable. I passed the point of it too. Okay. Uh, she walks into the room, closes the door behind you. Uh, make a reception check for me. Okay. Ooh, 17. All right. She locks the door behind you. Uh-oh. Okay. He's five. 
She turns to Sir Wellington, and with a very southern-style smile of, I'm clearly masking something right now, she goes, Bless your heart. Well, bless your heart, sweetie. Um, it seems you did not pass the test. Bye. You came back as evil, darling. But, but I'm not. I mean, I don't know. What does that mean? Plot's plotting. It means, sweetheart, you might very well be a demon, and we have to check all our bases. And okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and that is where we shall leave it tonight. Okay. Cool. <laughs> um. So thank you, everyone, for joining this absolute chaos tonight. Um. Outros. Shall we begin with the the starting the introer to this adventure for tonight, Sir Wellington? Yeah. So we're gonna. We're gonna like figure out what it means to be good or evil, um, and uh, I don't know what that means, but we're gonna find out. So this has been Sir Wellington uh, with all the questions for Thor and for the chat, and I will talk to y'all <laughs> later. It's Ian, aka Artful Thinking, everywhere else. Seamless I mean, transition. One thousand percent would fail this test. Absolutely. One thousand percent. Oh God. That- you know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, speaking, Jesus, speaking of protection whom, of good and evil. <laughs> right? <laughs> speaking of whom? Uh, speaking. <laughs> Miguel! <laughs> I'm Ness. I play Abigail. Got it. That was there a it really is. Yeah. long delay. Dude. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Uh, wow, Tolaris is hardcore spelling out evil in the chat. Nerd Dad is so disappointed in Abigail. Right? Why? I I think Nerd Dad is like heartbroken as to as to Abigail's Why? current. No, I think he's having a great evil. time. Or he really likes Abigail and wants Abigail to like jump multiverses and meet Bajor or Come something. Come to Kralis. <laughs> oh my you god. Need, you don't need more evil people in Kralis. No. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> uh, uh, speaking speaking of, of Vajra, um, that brings us speaking to of our cr- lovely Kalinanka. Yeah, because I'll I'll do shameless plugs because I do that. You do. Um, I do. I will shamelessly plug all the things. That is so That's doing the so re- doing the recap. <laughs> Plus, um, I ah! am. Thank you to the internet. I am Kali Naka in I've got I haven't said her last name in so long, but it flows up the tongue very well. Kali Naka in the Lost Continent. Um you can catch us, me, our lovely DM Markham, and Naz right back here on DM now next tomorrow, not next week. Tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. We'll be back Excuse next me. week too. I, yeah, we'll be back next week too, but we'll be back next week too. Want, but also want, tomorrow. I don't want to wait until next Friday for Kralis, please. I I, no! I need to play. I need to play. No, yeah. come back tomorrow for Legend of Kralis where we will actually be players and doing our own Lost dramatic shit again. Kralis one shot would be awesome. And oh my playing. god. Horrible. That would be terrible. I would be horrified. You know what? Maybe that would be a side effect of the portals opening. Like the multiverses will temporarily implode or something. <laughs> But, but but, would, I, I would say three of you guys would be having to play multiple characters at the same time. Be very so, I mean, confusing. I'm the DM. I mean, so I mean I've done it I before. I can just ixnay any of my NPCs, so I don't have to worry about that. I've done it before. Yeah. I um. Know. Yep. <laughs> Any whore. Um. <laughs> So you can catch us back here tomorrow for Legend of the Kralis, where Probably we're going to do our more dramatic things, where it's probably going to get more heavy, deep role-playing with, between me and Naz. Um, mm-hmm. Reasons. Things are happening. We're going to get into political warfare. It's a great time. Mm-hmm. We just got new toys, and then we went on a very long tangent. Yes. Um, <laughs> new toys, new names. But it's fine. It's great. It's a good time. So catch us here tomorrow. Um... And then come out, so check out other DN Denial. They all have new campaigns. I think they actually do have a new campaign starting here they really do, soon. They yeah, they yeah. Have, they have a new campaign called uh, State of the Union. I think it's like a State, State of the campaign. Union. That I believe is I on love Tuesdays. It. I am looking forward to that. Uh, Thursdays, it's going to be great course, fun. You have us at the Lost Continent. Um, Fridays are Legends of Kralis. 
where myself, <laughs> Selby, and Naz all play with uh, a couple of other amazing DM'd players. by the wonderful, hilarious DM'd game master, just beat you dubs. Yep, he is in the chat. Um, being mortified by Abigail's absolute... Shout evil. out the Nerd Dad. Um, shout out to Nerd Dad. <laughs> uh, and then Sundays bi-weekly, my wife and I play under the wonderful Mazrix, uh in Rumors of Magic, and then Mondays are the Iowan Adventures. So yeah, uh, there's stuff any night of the week. If you're ever bored, or if you just want an amazing campaign to follow... Take your pick. There's all, or Take follow all of them. They're amazing. They're yeah. awesome. Each one's all unique. of them. Yep. I am Mr. Markham on like everything. Uh, I have been your dungeon lord, Shenanigan Sovereign, Game Master, Dungeon Master, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Demon Master. I like that one. Um, oh. That sounds kinky. Uh, so yeah. Uh, catch. I, oh. No. <laughs> really? The one time. Not to you. Was there? To me. To me. Yes. To you. No. Oh. Okay, I don't know where my brain went. I'll then, explain to you later. I gosh, I'm afraid <laughs> for that conversation. Um, <laughs> so yeah, uh, catch us next time uh, and, or and tomorrow, definitely tomorrow. Uh, you guys stay safe, stay lost, and uh, try stay not lost. to follow Abigail's advice, please. It's it's not safe. Follow it. No, don't. Follow <laughs> don't kill <laughs> people. <laughs>